Where's the camera? Hi! Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another exciting, thrill-packed edition of Saturday Night Insanity. Let's not waste any time. Let's get the boys in here. Here is the boys. Yo. Hello. Sup, Hi. boys. Your mother. You guys are really loud. Hold on a second. Let me... You're really loud. You also sound like you're far away, and, and so you're on the wrong mic, I think, here in the Hangout. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we'll either move the mic or change the input. I, I think I, you're coming yeah, in I from know. the awkward angle cam. I'm in the awkward angle cam. Well, I swap yeah. <laughs> things around, so I just yeah. hold, hold I on and we'll... Uh, yeah. Just hold on! Here. It, wouldn't be a problem if, it wouldn't be a problem if we could actually hear you clearly, which is not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound really far away, like you're in the shitter or something. How is it now? It's <laughs> fine. How... <Yeah. laughs> We're fine. How, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Everything's fine, good, fine. How are so, you? So, a couple of minor changes here. Uh, you may notice I moved my name up to here, where it's under me. And the Geeky Crew designation is here, actually on the screen with them. Uh, and the links were moved over here. And there's, there's a lot of dead space here. I prove of these changes because now the title doesn't look ins like awful and now uh and the title the title was moved up a little bit i think just to i kinda... think you should center the text with the <laughs> with the with the video that we're, we're on and center like, the text with the video that you're right. on okay the, so the link text below needs to be centered with the, with the with oh, the crew video is what okay. i'm saying here you go and then no and the, and no then no the links no. <laughs> and then Saturday Night Insanity. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Oh yeah, you're right. That that looks Excellent. much better. I I agree. Good suggestion. Perfect. Perfect. Imagine. That's beautiful. It's the best thing I've ever seen. So hold on, and then we've got uh, we also have something new, which is uh, hold on. Where am I putting that? I got to rearrange everything again. Okay. <laughs> There, um, we have we have a we have a chat window, so now you can actually see that we're not actually just sitting in here like a bunch of losers talking to ourselves. <coughs> There's other people that are watching. <laughs> this in no way is because someone trolled him. Nope, not at all. Now, now the reason for the dead space in the middle here, that is where the alerts will go. So if you, uh, oh, okay, yeah. So if yeah. someone follows or subscribes or cheers, that's where the alerts will be. So that's your incentive to do stuff all throughout the chat to cheer and follow and subscribe, just so that there will be something in that space there. To uh, five hundred and six bits to uh, be the number one bit cheer for the week. That's right. There's that, and there's also if you're if you're here live, you'll see that there's some new stuff. In the live uh, thing as well, it actually gives you uh, like who who uh, uh, cheered the most bits, and so there's like a top three, so you can get in there and uh, be on the top three. So there was uh, a uh, lot. Cass, a lot... And, I had, Cass the... and I had a bit of a cheering war the other night. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I encourage these things because that just you means say, you money. Say it was. <laughs> It was the yeah, bit, so the bit war. Yes, it was. Uh, it was amazing. I tweeted. I tweeted the internet's best geeky and nerd show. Well, got off my tweet. Where to go? Uh, the best <laughs> and nerdy chat show is live right now, and I'm there too. If you want to see the beard in motion, yay! Motion beard. <laughs> <laughs> motion. Oh, actually, I also finally figured out how to turn off the autofocus on my webcams, so now they won't be going in and out of focus all night. Um, and if I need to manually adjust them, I can. Um, Logitech changed their camera controls uh, recently with the latest. I need to re-download them. <laughs> the latest one. Um, so there's actually a lot more stuff that you can control now. So it's actually kind of oh. nice. It just took me forever to actually. Oh yeah. Hey. Thanks, Manic. Oh yeah. Appreciate oh, that. Yeah. I'm just gonna move that down just a hair. So that the bunny ears. isn't rubbing can't his ears. You can't have anything touching. You can't have anything touching. That's right. We don't want the rub the 
bunny ears rubbing against you. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm down. Move this down just a hair as well. That tickles me in the bunny place. There we go. Okay, so now you can see all of the things that people say that we ignore throughout the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the time, all of the sometimes. interaction. Uh, <laughs> oh, Rob Jensen in the house. How's it going, buddy? Haven't seen you in like a long time. Uh, probably because we've been broadcasting late. But uh, says, sorry to bring this up today, but you were right about the MASH laugh track. Way better without it. See? See? I told you. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> so everybody who gets the MASH DVDs, watch it without the laugh track. It is so much better. Um, and really shows just how brilliant, how brilliantly written it was, and how funny it is on its own without you needing to be told when to laugh. I'm so glad Me TV airs Mash without the laugh track. Does it really? That is yeah. so awesome. Good for you, Me TV, doing it right, yo. Like, I swear they just they just buy like the proper DVD and Blu-ray sets of these old shows and air them. <laughs> awesome. Because they're like all the correct. Oh, right. They'll share them in actual like continuity order nice. like they so, showed the original star trek in correct fucking order oh really like the actual yeah. numbered order instead of the <laughs> yeah. broadcast order so rob That's denson was good. saying he's sorry to make it up today because david ogden's theaters died oh <gasps> no oh my god bladder cancer yeah that is so sad like the worst possible kind too like uh, fuck, cancer, fuck it fuck cancer that's terrible well, he will always be remembered and cherished for his contributions. <sighs> this was the emote that I shared when I saw that. Hold on. He, was, um, he was, of course, uh, Winchester, the very prim and proper British guy that Hawkeye and BJ tormented relentlessly <laughs> after... Uh, after Frank left, but um, that's another yeah, thing. Major Mitoko right. notes: Stan Lee is currently fighting pneumonia. Yes. Oh God! Knock on wood. Oh God. That is. Uh, I don't have any wood. I have press board. That is. I have yeah, wood. I have. <laughs> I'm sitting on a giant natural wood desk. I'm like banging the shit out of this thing. Yeah, <laughs> pneumonia at that age is always very touch and go, and yeah. um, like. <sighs> He's had a really long, really awesome life, right? Well, I mean, absolutely. He's about like ninety-five. I don't, like I don't want anything bad to happen to the guy. He's such a good guy. But, I know. But if it know. if it is that time, then you're quite right. He has well, led a pretty had a run amazing. Of bad luck, though. He's pretty, had like one point five million stolen from. That's crazy. Last month. Yeah, that's true. Pretty yeah, someone bought a house in his, with his, in his name. And some other person stole a bunch of money from him, and yeah, wow. dude, he's had a lot Sucks. of bad luck, unfortunately. That and he said nurses have, uh, have filed lawsuits against him, claiming sexual harassment, but yeah. that's all like really unfounded. I so, don't uh, believe that for a second. I don't, I don't know if I believe it or not. That's not the point. The point is, yeah. he's ninety-three, man. Like, holy shit, does he even know where he is half the time? Yeah, <laughs> At 93, I'm probably not going to give a fuck about society's morals either. Like, yeah. hey, babe. I want to fuck you. You're like, you're like, dude, you're really gross. Like, I'm 90 fucking three. Of course I'm really gross. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at me. I, I stop giving a fuck if you were offended or not. This is... About 90 like, years... I'm saying I'd love to. I'm not saying I am capable of doing anything about it, but... <laughs> when I'm 90... Minutes, Viagra. Hold on. 90 fucking three. Like, even the Viagra right. is kind of, you know, 50-50. Oh, he's 95, apparently. He's 95. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought, yeah. But um, yeah, if if I have to <laughs> accept him going here soon, I want him to go of natural causes, not of something taking him out. Yeah, exactly. Like just peacefully of old age. Yeah. But uh, oh, and also, of course, Kevin Smith had a massive heart attack right after last week's SNI. And like um, the worst place ever, the Widowmaker, the top ventricle or whatever. Yeah, he uh, he said basically the only thing that saved him was the fact that he's made so many 
changes to his lifestyle in the past uh, few, like past ten years or so. It was and, super uh, calm during the whole thing. He did a twenty minute video but talking about the whole event. Yeah, he was like super calm. So it, like the doctor's like, wow, he's really calm. You know? Yeah. And he's like, he's he's trying to hide his dick the whole time. So I'm not like, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Like, can you shave your really butt, my dick? Because like, I can't show you my like, like, you really die, right? Yeah, I know, you but tell me, you tell me See? where to shave, and I will shave for you. Right? <laughs> That's right. The guy's having a heart attack. <laughs> See, oh no matter what, dick and fart jokes all the way, man. Right. <laughs> he knows. Hey, he knows, he knows. Too. He'll probably, he'll probably his dead body will be farting all the way down and. Into the That's hole. Right. With just a rigor mortis <laughs> erection. <laughs> uh, Kevin Smith, we love you. Uh, a wet movie. I actually met him recently. He went to uh, yes, a thing, uh, like a live thing that he did, and uh, met him backstage. And he was so nervous talking to him. Like it was, but it was great that he got to meet him. And Kevin was like totally cool to him and everything. It was just a really awesome moment. Um, so yeah, that's great stuff. Good yeah, he had, he had actually met him before. Yeah. Uh, long, long time ago. Yeah. Really, really quickly at like a convention or something. He, it was in the little video he did. He showed pictures of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I met him for like five minutes at a convention too. I mean. Yeah. I mean, but he gets to meet him at backstage. It's a completely different thing, you know. It's like yeah. a way more depth experience, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, how's it going? I love this. Can you sign this? Thanks. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. my. I had a clerk's uh, Chase Amy uh, like do like book like has like both scripts and they had he signed that. He signed my Chase Amy DVD and I was like, nice. moved on. There you go. Yeah. Next. <laughs> nice, but like it was Comic Con, so yeah. I mean, only so yeah. much time. Well, yeah. I mean, even this. I mean, he, he basically just gave him like five minutes, uh, or he just you know chat about whatever and <laughs> uh, you it know. Really he's, polite. Oh yeah, no, he was super super nice, um, and I think he's always been like that with uh, with the fans. Just one of those really kind of down to earth guys, which is great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the the awkward angle cam this week is pointing over there because uh, those of you who were here twenty minutes ago <laughs> will know that I've basically been streaming all day, uh, pretty much since I got up at about three thirty. So um, and today yeah. I. I was working on uh, some stuff for a, a closer look video that I want to do. Um, one of the ones I did was uh, I, I did a sort of comparison between the whoa echo, yeah, uh, between the uh, DVD and Blu-ray sets of the X Files. And in the DVD set of the X Files, I got a stack of art cards that came with that and came with the DVD or uh, VHS and Laserdisc releases. So I wanted to do a video about the art cards, and I thought, you know what, let's go the extra mile here and actually scan all the art cards. So that's pretty much what my day was, was scanning all the frickin' art cards. And just yep. got them done right before SNI. I honestly <laughs> did not expect it to take that long, but there was a lot of them. Six and hours, then, ten cards, go figure. And then it I found... be time and then I, scanner. And then I found out... Uh, in kind of browsing eBay, like I knew I was missing a few, but browsing eBay, I saw all these listings. I was like, "Wow, I'm missing like a ton of them, like way more than I thought." And um, yeah, so I might actually try to track down the rest of them at some point and complete that set, which would be pretty cool. So, but yeah. only after you get a new scanner printer. And new hard drives. <laughs> new hard drives first. Uh, yeah, no, new hard drives is the priority for sure. Um, I'm gonna. The, the plan is to swap out at least a few of them for uh, for newer ones and um, just back things up like mad. Hey, I gotta do the same. Thing. <sighs> and I want to do a whole JBOD parody thing so I can like never have to worry about it again. Yeah. For those who just came in, uh, Zarin Isaac here had a bit of a scare with his uh, oh with, the, with Windows updates and whatnot. Uh. Air. Jesus. Oh my God! Yeah, I told the whole told the whole story in another impromptu stream the other night. But just to summarize quickly, the uh, um, yeah, I was I was doing some uh, game streams this week, and one of the things I did was Resident Evil Seven, which I finished finally. It was awesome, great game. I missed I most of that. Loved game. It. So I'm looking forward oh, to it in YouTube. In YouTube episodic form, yes. Yeah, I just. Oh, if I watch it live, I won't watch the YouTube. But if I watch, yeah. If I don't, if I miss it live, I, I gotta watch the YouTube. Absolutely. Well, and also the YouTube will be full 1080p, 60 frames per second too, so it'll look look even better. 
Meh, um, sure. That one, that one in particular, really benefits from that because the detail in the graphics is just phenomenal. Like they really did a nice job on the visuals in that. But uh, basically, at, just as I was finishing up the stream, just kind of saying my goodbyes, Windows threw up this big alert. Like Windows needs to run updates. Now it had done updates the night before, so I thought it was done. It's like, oh, you got to do updates. I'm like, fine, okay. So, well, good night, everybody. I'm going to go do updates, apparently. So, went and ran the updates, and everything seemed to be fine. It seemed to be happy. So, um, I I got some stuff going overnight where I was basically, I thought, well, okay, we would finish that game. I should do get some more games prepared. So, I set Steam to install, like, a bunch of my most massive games overnight, like stuff that was between 12 and 35 gigs in size a piece so that I just queued them all up and then went to bed and I was queuing them all up to install to um, what was it the N drive the the drive letter designated N which was my main work drive it was one that I just cleared off a ton of space because I'd bought a new hard drive so I'd, I'd cleared off a bunch of space so I'm like I got tons of space and why don't I just pre-install a shit ton of games and I'll be all set and ready to go so I get up the next morning to check on it, and Steam is frozen. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So I go and check. I pull up, you know, and Steam just is is completely locked up. I can't do anything. I have to just kind of crash out of it. And it looks like it was in the middle of installing something. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So I go and reboot, and uh, I open up Steam. Very briefly. And, and Steam says that I've only got about 15 games installed. And I'm like, what? No. Those of you who've watched my streams recently know that I had way more games installed than that before. And I'm like, what? Why Why does it say I have so few games? So I pulled up my list of hard drives. N drive has disappeared. It's just gone. I'm like, what the hell? Where is N drive? So I reboot again. Uh, oh, and I also noticed like, okay, wait a minute. Not only is N drive gone, but all my external hard drives are gone too. I have like four external hard drives that are uh, basically connected through a powered USB 3 hub. And um, they're all gone. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So I, I just, you know, re unplug things, plug them back in, still nothing. And I'm like, I bet it was those fucking Windows updates. So I see that Windows, in their infinite you know, helpfulness, has installed the Windows 10 Update Assistant on my desktop. So I run it, and it says, oh, you're not running the latest version of Windows. You need to run updates. I'm like, okay, haven't you done this twice now in the past three days? So I'm like, fine. So I run the updates again. And it says, you got to restart to install the updates. So like, okay. So I restart after, you know, I let it do its thing. I restart. It comes back up. And it won't boot. <laughs> like, what? It just sits on, like, the, the splash screen for my motherboard, which is the initial boot screen. I hate that. I'm like, what's going on? So I hit the manual reset button. I've got two buttons on the front of my computer. One is power, one is reset. So I hit the reset button, which basically does a forced reboot. And um, so it finally it boots up. It gets to the login screen. I go to type in my password to log in. It blue screens. <laughs> so I'm like, what is going on? So power it up again. It finally boots properly. And I'm like, okay, good. We seem to be okay now. And um, I go and check, and all the external hard drives have come back, but N drive is still gone. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on with N drive? Why is it not showing up at all? So I reboot again, thinking, like, okay, maybe it's just not detecting all the drives properly. So I reboot again, still no N drive. I disconnect the external drives, reboot again, still no N drive. I power the computer off. I pull N drive out of the fucking computer and I plug it into my USB 3 dock. Power up the computer. No N drive. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So I swap out 
uh, I put G drive, which is the new drive that I bought into the dock just to test the dock and make sure it's working. Sure enough, there it is, pops right up. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Okay, fine, you know what? I'm gonna swap G drive into the computer and then just leave N drive in the dock and try to pull the files off it. So I put G drive, my brand new four terabyte drive into the computer and I'm like, okay, G drive, start installing those fucking Steam games. It starts installing the Steam games and then G drive dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, what? So finally, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So then I pull G drive, I uh, power down again, pull G drive out of the computer, plug that back into the dock, fire it up, it fires up, and I'm like, okay, I gotta start moving some files around, just see what's going on. So I start moving some files around, G drive crashes out again. So I'm like, great, this brand new hard drive is garbage. Thank you, Seagate. I decided to put my trust in you one last time because everybody Never tells me Seagate is the shit. Don't bother with Western Digital. I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe that's not a bad idea because all these Western Digital drives keep dying on me. Let's try Seagate again. Well, no. Apparently, Seagate is still shit. <sighs> Never again. So... Says what, a guy running a 4 terabyte. So yeah. what I... Yeah. So what I ended up doing... What's particularly infuriating is G Drive decides to die after I've transferred three terabytes of files to it. So to clear off all that extra space on N Drive and one of my and L Drive, which is my or no K Drive, which is my live show drive, which thank God is fine. That's beautiful and it's got the most space on it. But um, so I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. So I go to check the updates, um, and it says again, I'm still not running the latest version of Windows 10. I need to run updates. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with these? How many times do I need to run these goddamn updates? So this time, I run the updates and I sit back and wait. It reboots. It goes to a black screen. It stays on this black screen so long that my screen goes to sleep. <laughs> and then I'm like, nope. I'm not going to reboot. We're not going to restart. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to sit and wait and wait and wait. And sure enough, bloop, blue screen, don't power off your computer. Windows is installing updates. I'm like, <sighs> normally that comes up right after you reboot. I don't know why it took so long. But this time I'm like, okay, now I know for sure it's actually doing something. Let's just let it go. Let it do its thing. <sighs> And finally, it finished the updates. It rebooted. Everything was happy. It says, hi, welcome to the new one. Fuck off. Just let me into my desktop. 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 <laughs> so finally get into the desktop. Everything's back up and running. Uh, G Drive it comes and goes. Like, I should be able to pull the files off it and put it on an actual functioning drive. But I'm just leaving it unplugged, disconnected, cold until I do that. N drive is officially dead. Um, I did check some of the files that I had on N drive were duplicates, uh, such as a lot of the old live stream archives. I have them on other drives. Some of the stuff was videos that I was working on currently, uh, which I have since refilmed from scratch. And honestly, the second take went better than the first takes anyway, so I'm not too broken up about that. And as for all the rest, well, I don't actually remember what all was on there, um, but I had cleared off a lot of space. I don't think there's anything super, super critical on there, like nothing, not too much that's irreplaceable. But uh, basically, bottom line is it looks like I, I, I tried running some of my data recovery software on it. It barely even recognizes it as a valid hard drive, let alone letting me pull any files off it. Um, what is it? I, I ran it in, I ran it through disk management, the disk management tool in Windows, and it said that it had... 134 million gigabytes capacity <laughs> and i'm so like 131 exabytes yes <laughs> and i said <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's wrong <laughs> or, or it's not so eloquently put it external bullshits yes external bullshits <laughs> so yeah so i don't know what's going on so basically i bought a new hard drive to transfer a bunch of files did that windows fucked everything up with its updates for a while um I, I, I want to blame the Windows updates, but I'm pretty sure that's just coincidence. Um, that, that N drive was giving me some minor issues. It wasn't anything that I was super worried about. 
Uh, there was like one occasion where it didn't show up in the drive list previously, uh, but otherwise it had been working fine. It was just a workhorse. I used it as my main drive for a few years now, and um, like my main work drive. I guess, literally. But, I mean, it would have been nice to have some warning, at least enough that I could pull the files off it and dump them somewhere else. But well, that's not the way it always happens. So, anyway. This is why I want to do, do JBOD with parity so that I don't have to ever worry about it. Because I'll have a duplicate of every hard drive, everything I put on one hard drive. It's going to be a lot of hard, dri hard drives, but yeah, I'm just going to assemble them slowly. Yeah, I think that's... Uh... Buy a bunch of terabytes. The way yeah. I gotta go to. But uh, yeah, I mean, for so I'm not sure what route I'm gonna go. I mean, four terabyte drives are super cheap now. It's like 120, 25 bucks to get Definitely. one, and um, I mean that's a lot of space. So if I get a couple of those a month, just to kind of have on hand, even to have some spares. You can just hand. buy one a month, dude. Like, I don't do a couple. Yeah. You just buy one a month. and you. Well, no. See, because now I've got a four terabyte drive that's brand new and apparently dying already that I need to get the files off of. Right. Well, I mean, I'll never that. And then on top of that, I need to have one that I can use as a work drive. Actually, you know, I was almost thinking of just getting, like, as far as having a work drive, um, have, get, just getting, like, a 500 gig just to have as a work drive, just to dump stuff to for editing purposes. I use that for scratch. Like that. I have a 120 yeah. gig um, SSD for that. SSD, yeah, that's yeah. that's a possibility. That way when it edits and renders, it's all using Flash, basically. Flash, it never, it never yeah. has to be... A, yeah, I need to get a large... It's, not restricted by the, it's never restricted by the speed of my hard drive and only restricted by the speed of my rendering, basically. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I might do that. I mean, I, I 120, have... 120 gig... Was like it was like fifty bucks. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I actually I How about my cheap one drive is a two hundred and fifty gig nine fifty Evo. Yeah, so that's a nice yeah, SSD, two... but it was expensive. <sighs> I got like a two hundred dollar two hundred gig <clears throat> SSD or whatever. And greetings, yeah. Apothic yeah. Rain. Hello. Like drive. <laughs> I mean, technically, what I need to get <clears throat> is I saw you sneak in there. I need to get one of those NVMe drives. Yeah, same. Yeah. Because uh, my board has the spot for it for an, like an M.2. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, a, I mean, thing is, I have that too, and I and I need space. That would be smart. Yeah. That'd be a good place to put your editing stuff. Yeah. Well, I've, yeah, I put super uh, fast then. Yeah, I would super put fast. And put all my file, put all my Vegas editing files on that. Super out, duper. Out. I can't believe we're already at. Speaking of M.2, mm. uh, we're already at like the 750 <laughs> drives. The what? Sorry. 750 gig M.2s. Oh, oh yeah, they're, I know. They're the super fast ones, eh? I don't yeah. even go that high they're for the, a C drive. I just what I call gum drives. Gigs. They're like the stick, the size of a stick of gum. Yeah. yeah. And they plug it into like a PS, uh, PCI Express slot, don't they? Yeah, yeah, for a little them. slot. Yeah. yeah, but like, it's like, like if, it reminds me if you've ever installed RAM in a laptop. If you make it like a work drive, <laughs> yeah. you need anything more like a 200, like, 500 gigs around there, you know? Plug it in, then you push it down and screw it down. <laughs> I think yep. that's it. There yep. you go. Bernard says, back to backing things up on floppies, I say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So that I'm was my week. I have a Blu-ray drive. I've been, I was considering buying some Blu-ray discs and just burning. The, the thing that was really infuriating about it was uh, Rosie was over at a friend's place uh, spending the day and staying over for a sleepover, which basically meant I had the place to myself for the entire day. And I was looking forward to getting a lot of filming done. And, filming uh, done. Sorry. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, um, <laughs> well, after battling with the computer for six fucking hours, um, I finally got some filming done in the dead of night. <laughs> um, so I didn't get also, as much done as I wanted, most, but, yeah. You know. Most of the filming you got done was stuff that had been deleted that you had already done before. Yeah. Well, not, so it's not deleted. It's on there. I just can't access it. It's just... It's gone. Inaccessible. It's the same thing. It's, it's there in spirit. <laughs> yeah, right. It's there in theory. In theory. It may actually be gone, too. All I can if say it, is... It, if it dropped your allocation table, you don't have data, because it doesn't know where any of it is. Uh, you, so. you just have sectors with clusters in them. No... 
Exactly. Oh, that's that's yeah. gonna be worried about. I yeah. apparently have 134 million gigabytes of space <laughs> yeah. on there. I mean, it's it's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at that it's amazing. point, we're reading that, I give up hope, man. Give it up. <laughs> it's, it's, over. Over. it's dead. Yeah. It's dead. When, when, when your drive is reading a file size that we're probably not gonna see for another 30 fucking years, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? I I am the future. Quantum warped into the future. <laughs> Watch Quantum in two warped. years, Eric's like I got a hundred and thirty eight exabyte drive. Fuck you. I was wrong. It was, yeah. 30 years. It was two years. I think it would yeah. be happy to be wrong about that. I know, shit. we all would be. Like Like I'll, you're wrong. I was wrong. wrong. That's a good thing. I would absolutely be happy <laughs> to be wrong about that, yes. And you can get uh, one of those hundred and twenty eight uh, exabyte. It, Right. It, wasn't, it, wasn't a zettabyte, it was an EB, an exabyte, which is, what, a million gigabytes? Where's that? Uh, a million, million gigabytes or something like that? Yeah, where's that it's, picture it's, of the protester sitting in the chair? Millions of millions. Freaks me it's wrong. A, lot. A, hundred, a hundred million. <laughs> a hundred million. There you go. Yeah, a hundred million gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a, it'd be a zarabyte. A zarabyte. See, that's, zarabyte. I should have that because... I'm, you know, <laughs> it's, like, it's like Futurama. I call it a hawking hole. <laughs> One hundred thirty-one million gigabytes. There you go. Perfect. That's true. Uh, you could technically send a data recovery specialist. They might be able to get it for a thousand dollars. Well, that's that's exactly what I'm thinking. Um, and I know that that's how much they cost. I've actually got two hard drives that I want to send too. in for that. Uh, until this week, I had one hard drive that I wanted to send in for that. Uh, I had three under my bed for some reason. Now I have two. Yeah. I'm like, um, I don't want to lose this data. Yeah. Well, the uh, actually, games. the other one I, I really want to recover because it's got a lot of stuff from the old Stick M days on it. And a lot of early, know. like early, early days of YouTube, like uh, some old videos from favorite YouTubers of mine that have long since deleted their stuff. Uh, so, you know. Um, and there's a lot of other just randoms. I don't even remember half the things that are on there because it's been so long since I was able to access that drive. But uh, but that was one oh, that... Oh, that's um, right. That was a really sad one. I was talking about it, yeah, oh. uh, earlier. It was basically... Um, I had it... I mean, it's my own damn fault. I had it in a very precarious position. And oh, yeah. uh, Rosie ran by one day and tripped over the cord and yanked it onto the floor. <laughs> so the drive just went wham! And then as soon as it hit the floor, it was making the sound like... Eh, that's because like, oh. it probably unseated the platters. That's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking happened. Yeah, it unseated it the platters. it probably damaged some of the data. Some of that data is gone forever because of... Uh, oh, I'm sure. It struck, I'm sure. If the head struck the, the platter... They, like if the head really, struck the platter, yeah. But... Really, uh, the arm... Oh, the arm was... Pinching it yeah. or something. I mean, yeah. That so whatever it had, basically it just it destroyed the mechanism. <laughs> it so it bad just, news, yo. It won't go. So in that case, I mean, I knew right away. It's like that's gonna have to go to a data recovery specialist. Like they're literally gonna have to physically remove the platters from yeah, that hard drive yeah. in a clean room. Yeah, and they're gonna have to put it into a functioning mechanism, and then, hopefully then, be able to pull some of the data off of it that way. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Any data they can get. You know? And like, I know exactly how they need to do it. I just don't have a clean room, and I can't do that. So, <laughs> so a thousand bucks out of my pocket to get that recovered. Um, that one's well, a one point five terabyte drive. Remember one point five terabytes. Data, if there's a data recovery company looking for a good ad hire Zer Nine Track, recover his data for him, and yes. he'll do an ad for you. I will on his channel. I will you'll shout suck your digital in... dick. <laughs> I'll be very grateful in the form of many plugs on my videos. Um Zer Nine Track for the next two years is brought to you by Yeah. <laughs> your donation blank, blank data, data recovery. This awesome company, you know. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Dollar Shave Club and all those, man. You got hard drive data recovery. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Monthly subscription will recover your data every month. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to go grab some chips. I'll be right back. You skin oh, I am. I what am, did I do, JL? What was so gross? The 1893 Pepsi Cola, original cola. It is made, apparently, 
with boldly blended uh, cola nut extract, dark brown malt flavor, a touch of aromic <clears throat> sparkling this, water, and real fruit. This splurge galore girl. The splurging your data back all over your face. <laughs> Digis splurge. That's Digis splurge. Digis splurge, yes. Splurging your data back all over your face. Oh. Man, Verminar, you have a knack for making things I want as stickers. <laughs> now you need to design that logo as a sticker. Man, you need to come back to design this random shit based on our episodes again. Hell yeah. No one buys it, but it's really awesome anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's true. I've sold one or two things total since I've had oh. this. Just the way I don't have the viewership, you know. Yeah. Sean, I am drinking a Pepsi, a very classy Pepsi. Oh, look at that! It's the 1893 blend Pepsi. Very nice. Oh, sorry, Jail. He said you got he was saying you skin slip to me talking about sucking the digital dick. It's a metaphor. He's sucking the digital dick. They're pixels. They're not real dicks. That's right. It's eight bit all the way. Uh, my camera is so high, Angel, because my medicine's illegal to show on camera in some states, and so Twitch is against it in their TOS. So I cannot show it on camera, but it is, I'm, I'm taking my medicine. He'll be he'll be and back in out. the view shortly, and then you can unzip again. How is the uh, blood orange? <laughs> oh, this the blood orange diet coke back to be the best of the new diet cokes because. Nice. According to like my family members, it tastes like candy. Ah, <laughs> what a, like a sugary beverage! Candy. It tastes like candy. This is diet coke, but oh. it's still technically a form of sugar. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm liking like the last couple of years or so. We've been getting really, really fancy and interesting with Coke and Pepsi products. Crixels. <laughs> <laughs> Prixels. <laughs> Prixels. <laughs> no, actually, it is my medicine. I have chronic back pain, actually. Uh, yeah, I was, I was, among, among with chronic other things. It, uh -huh. It's actually it's actually is medicine. <laughs> I actually take it for medicine. Mm -hmm. After that no, no, I'm, I'm not saying like, I don't. Oh. No, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't have fun because I did get some top shelf stuff for like when I when I want to party. I did buy it some recreational stuff but it's separate from my medicine yeah medicine my medicine's low thc stuff it's it's low it's like it's just to alleviate pain it's not to get high i literally i literally buy low thc high cbd stuff to because i'm i'm, I'm buying it for a purpose yeah so, it still gets me high but it's not like not the same thing as when i take this stuff this shit was expensive it's 50 bucks as much no, well, you know, Vermin, I'm just glad to see you around more. We missed you, man. It's good to see yeah. you getting back on the horse there. Yep. Yeah, welcome back. Take your time. You don't have to rush into anything. Trust me. I, I might be like, you should do this, but it, just think it as me being enthusiastic about your art. Exactly. You have, we love your don't art. Take it as a command. You don't have to do every little thing I say. Oh, just fuck saying. me. I think my Vermin art folder is on an end drive as well. Well, I have, I have, I have, I actually have the Roman art poster for your Blade Runner thing still. I have that, sure. I have that elsewhere. Like, I have another copy okay. of that. But. I kept, I put all that stuff on a digital drive. <laughs> I'm like, I need to save everything like this. This needs to all be saved. Um, I still have a physical look copy that up right now. So I have that on my Google Drive that I pay monthly for a massive amount. Roman. <laughs> Not money, a space. Looking it up it's right like now. Terabyte space or whatever. Yes. Searching oh, all of the drives. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna. I was like, oh yeah, I need to find a place to back up my music collection. And then start looking around, like, oh, there's no place I can find cheap 140 gigs. Fuck. I need a 140 gigs of space just for the music. Mm. Oh, Berman has has it too. So anything you lost, let him know. He says. Awesome. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Just, send it, just drop it onto a Google Drive or something and send him a link and he'll... Everything since 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Literally all of it, dude. Oh, and for Wait, those who aren't aware, in, at least in my neck of the woods at Target, they have <coughs> the uh, packs of these Diet Cokes for 250 basically. I think they're, like, getting rid of them because they're not going to be around anymore, so... Yeah. They're yeah. they're also I trying can... maybe to sell them so that people can get their opinions about them and either spread the buzz and drive demand or 
to see what it's popular. You know, they're looking for you to talk about in social media, probably. Yeah. The 12 ounce, 1893 uh, Pepsi's and the ginger ones are. I would kill like, for some of those. These things are like a dollar fifty a can. I don't have any of the special Pepsis here, and I love Pepsi. So these mm. ones are good. This is like a very mm. soft taste. I like Coke too, but harsh. Uh, I used actually, to be a Coke person. Me of Coke. I used to be a Coke person, but Coke is much more harsh than Pepsi. Imagine like the softness of, of Coke, but without that heavy caramel flavor. Love Pepsi. Mm -hmm. All but right, I also so... like uh, this brand called Triple Cola, which you can find bottled at Safeway. It's good shit. So far. Okay. It has found the MMC Runner poster. Yay! And that's it. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty oh, no. sure. Yeah, I think that folder was on Endrive. Sad. Wow. That's all I have, actually, is that. Is the, uh, I have that and all the stuff that was for the geeky stuff, like geeky shirts and stuff like that. Which are all well, up on a Redbubble you. store now. I've got a Redbubble store. Uh, I got a... I think there's a Zazzle. I mean, like, I put them on, like, all of the fucking... Hmm. places I could because I'm like the more places I put them the more like whoever's like oh I like this company better I'm like fine buy it yeah. from them I don't I don't really care that's true yeah that's a good point I, I want people wearing my shirts that's it mm. I made them I, I, I make like a dollar on, like, or less on things I I try to keep everything as cheap as possible because it's about getting the shit out there it's not about making money the money like I think I've made a total of five total dollars in five years so I'm not like in it for the money. I'm in it to get enthusiastic people oh, with their stuff. Beauty. <laughs> yeah. That's what Pepsi does to me. Coke doesn't do this to me. <laughs> it's always Pepsi. Uh, to answer your question always, there, yeah. <clears throat> to answer your question there, Strong said uh, probably. I don't know. <coughs> probably yes, because it's awesome. Yeah. <coughs> it is really like, one of the best best fucking animes. Yeah. Well, it's very accessible for, you know, It's, it's geared everybody. for girls. Yes. Well, geared, geared for, well yeah. Speaking. Traditionally speaking. I liked it too, but I'm just saying. I think there's speaking. a little bit of both there, because, I mean, boys like to see the girls in the cute outfits. The girls like know. to see the girl power, you know? <laughs> I wanted to be Sailor Mars. There's also mm -hmm. a, like, a bohunk, so to speak, in the show, so... <laughs> Um, Did you say there's bow hunting? Uh, bow hunk. Hunk. Oh. Bow hunk. A hunk okay. dude. Oh. A cute guy that they all fawn over. You know. Hunk, the pilot of Yellow Lion in Voltron. <laughs> Tuxedo mask, you <laughs> fucking ingrate. I was going to say. I hunk, thought he was gay. Gary Warrior from Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, Threshfinger says he's been recently trying the coca-cola in glass bottles mm. where the real mm -hmm. sugar is used and he likes it and i was mentioning how uh the, those i like to get are the ones that are <coughs> from mexico nice because they use natural grain sugar versus the uh, american bottled coke ones are used cane sugar mm. still really really good but i think the natural sugar uh like grain sugar tastes better personally so you can't go wrong with either one the but i can say the the mexican coke ones the bottles are bigger so you get more mexican coke or bust man yeah i, I mean i can wow. get them so readily here and like clean sugar forever i like sugar spoilers stop talking about spoilers spoilers hey um Pickups? 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 Um. Uh, yeah, there's a, it's a spoiler free zone. You spoil it, spoil it, you get banned. Yeah, pretty much. Pickups? Um, I, I have some I'm just finishing up. my chips here, then, uh, yeah. I've got three things. I, I, I do. I paid for one of them. I, I, I do have say that, four uh, things. I paid for all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, six things. Seven, like twelve or thirteen. I bought something. I shouldn't even bought the thing that I bought, but I, 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 I do. I do want to boast that I think I am going to win cup of the week. Oh god! Take my off skin slip. I can confirm he's going to win. 
<laughs> Dang it. There, there are a few My things God. that I've got here that oh. it was I just see. things fe things fell into place. <clears throat> just say things that. fell into place. Things fell into place that allowed me to get these things. That sounds very sinister. I have one or two things like that as well. Things fell into place, as in <laughs> people tripped um, and died. As your father, how you request things is you ask nicely, you don't demand, just saying. Um, also, we basically discussed Reboot to Death last week. There's not really anything else to say about it other than the new one we looks like it sucks like in the end. We spent like an hour talking about... That's 45 Reboot. minutes, easy. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Oh. I'm not even a fan of Reboot. And I sat here mo like, quietly, mostly, just ch chatted with the chat. I wouldn't mind if we went right back into another rant about it, but there's not really a point to it right now, so... It serves no purpose. Like we would just be saying the same thing over Let's again. Let's spin our wheels! Whee! And from last week, go watch last week's video. That's... Yes. I'm gonna like, the, seriously, the first, like, half of that video, no me. joke. That's the first half of that jail. video is our, our talk about it. JL said it perfectly. New reboot sucks. The end. We're done. <laughs> wow. Thank you, JL, yeah, on that one. Like, JL, our most pedantic user, or, <laughs> and he's the one who's like, we should move on. I'm just saying. If JL yeah. says we should move on, we should definitely be moving on. I'm just saying. <laughs> Could we talk for a brief moment about how we finally proved I, that Billy Mitchell I love you, JL. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's <lot>. right. <laughs> we finally proved that Billy Mitchell oh, is a yeah, piece dude. of human feces. Thanks, Vermin. I'm going to totally... Yes. How do I add this to my eyes? I mean, I've known for a long time that he's a total dickbag, but now we have visual proof. Wait, what? I missed all of that. That Billy Mitchell, Billy the king, Mitchell. Of, king of games, if you oh, will... Oh, right, 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 yeah. Billy has Mitchell. not only, you know, been accused of cheating... has oh, now it's been proven. Now it's been proven. 100% was he, proven. And his friends know. and everyone who backed him up all the people who backed him up, every single one of those motherfuckers has been caught for cheating too. Mm -hmm. I mean, no fucking was... joke. The guy with Dragster, that was one of the guys who backed him up at the tape. Yep. He worked at and that guy, and then there's that that, that guy worked also worked Galaxies. at worked at Twin Galaxies and had thou or not, hundreds of like fake, like uh, like scores entered. Maybe it was hundreds, dozens of fake fake records. I shouldn't speak yep. more than it should be. Dozens of fake records. In some of them, he, with scores he could not get, and no one oh, yeah. caught it for years. Yeah, you know, the scores that just don't exist. Like they. Yeah, you can't possibly exist. get a fifty points in this one thing. It doesn't give the award yeah, anything. You, you can't get this short of a time in this. And exactly, dragster was too short. It was too impossible. Like, like they 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 tried to do it with like a perfectly timed <sighs> robot, hey, and the robot did, couldn't do it. They did a bot <laughs> that had perfect timing, and it did every single possible. Thing. It literally went through every single possible option in the game, and it could not replicate that score, which means the score is 100% not possible. The computer would have been able to replicate it in some way. Oh, right? yeah. So, so we're talking about Billy yes. Mitchell being a, a, a joke. Oh, yeah. Well, I, they I, also... I'm the happiest person in the world to finally <laughs> say, Billy Mitchell, you are a fucking piece of trash. Yeah. You are a giant <laughs> walking turd. The, uh, they also discovered that he actually played it on an emulator and not on a yeah, legit that's machine. that's started the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's because well, the way the accusations of Amy, of it being a MAME emulator, which because of the because of the way it draws the, the uh, image. Yeah, yeah, and that's not against the rules at all. By the way, it's just how he would it should have been presented properly. Is what yeah, it, yeah. There were two yeah. things that they found that kind of just sparked everything. One, they proved it was emulation through <clears throat> slow motion video uh, by showing the comparisons. Yeah, and the other thing was that he lied about it. Now, yeah, he kept that's... lying about it continually. Those, um, those yeah. people who obsess about that one thing, e. the <clears throat> these are the kind of people that find these mistakes because they're obsessed about Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah. and know? the reason why it's a big deal is because Twin <coughs> Galaxy's website has two leaderboards. One for actual hardware and one for unaltered MAME emulation. Yep. You could, set, you could still set and be known for records on an emulator, but yep. it, it's on a separate leaderboard, which is fine. But he's putting this shit up on that, real, saying it's on the real they hardware. Have both raw and tool assisted, right? They do right. different. So you can yeah. do tool assisting. Have a record with tool assisted. So if he was tool assisting, he could have tool. But he, he was doing that too. He was using a tool assist, if I remember correctly, right? No, he wasn't using a tool assist. They had gone through his video, 
mm-hmm. and they used that uh, spectrum analyzer for the audio and found out that there were jump cuts. Aha, there you go. Because uh-huh. he had edited footage. Oh, so he, wow. he just edited together a video. Poor, He said poorly edited, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there were, like, huge gaps, like, that big of, like, no audio. It was um, it was good enough for people to be fooled all this time. Yeah, it was good enough for that old crafty yeah. asshole. Is still technology, you know, always reveals. There's been a ref since truth. Twin Galaxy yeah. started back in like 1980 fucking one. Um, no longer everything he's ever done has been struck in strict on the record. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, they they proved that <clears throat> this video. Pretty much, he he spliced together a video of a bunch of runs to magically get this best score. Yeah. So. Yep. <clears throat> On a main machine. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Silly, silly, silly person. Mm-hmm. Like I said, ever since I didn't really think much of Billy Mitchell before um, I saw the the documentary, The King of Kong. I didn't really think about him. I didn't even know he existed for a long time. Yeah. Uh, so he wasn't like someone I grew up, you know, idolizing or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know. And then I saw The King of Kong, and ever since then, I've hated him. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. he's a complete fucking asshole. He is. He's such a <laughs> douche. And he's in a few other documentaries. So and he's himself. One of them. He, he, gets, he gets in a lot of these documentaries, and every single one of them, you're like, he's a douchebag. What the fuck? Yeah, and then I think, happens, like, it's been a few years. Maybe, like Billy biggest... maybe, maybe, maybe Billy Mitchell's, like, you know, wisened up. Maybe he's not so... No, he's a dick. I take it back. He hasn't wisened up. <laughs> Still a dick. Anyway, sorry. So, yeah, this, I this, did. This made me made me very happy to hear. I I did like in the movie Pixels, how Peter Dinklage was clearly playing a character meant to take the piss out he of Billy Mitchell. Sued that. What uh, really? Yes. That's he lost. Yep. Oh, he lost. Good. Of Good. He lost. And stuff like that. But parody yes, is protect, he protected. Sued them yep. over that, saying that it was a. It was un, like uncharacteristic of him, and it like garnished, did a bunch of things, and uh-huh. so like that. And it was he financially it hurt him, and <clears throat> uh, it's like fuck off. <laughs> Must Whatever. Have been the fucking know that that was a reference to you. you ass. Yeah. So you just admitted <laughs> <laughs> that that is you. Yep. And, uh, uh, guess what? Yeah. Someone can make a parody of you. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sucks. I know. Yeah. It sucks when you're a piece of shit and people make fun of you, but, you know, that's what happens when you're a piece of shit. We make fun of you relentlessly, you sad sack of shit. And who is he fighting there? He's fighting, like, a huge freaking studio. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, whatever, (laughs) dude. So as far as the world is concerned, the only legitimate score that we can definitively say he got legally and real Mm -hmm. was his original Pac-Man score that made him famous. Yeah, a few... Uh, I think a few of his other early scores were there. He was actually at events. I think you have to keep those. But like yeah. all the ones where he can't, no one saw him in all, person. They there are no photo every single one yeah. that he submitted via tape. Yep, all gone. All yeah. gone. Yeah. Oh, they're not gone. They're being investigated. I think they've all been removed until <laughs> further notice. But I yeah, bet you a bunch of them are most fraudulent now. So wow. so yeah. So instead of having like fifty something scores on there he has like three yeah <laughs> he's like three <laughs> and and they're not even yeah. top they're like towards the bottom now because yeah. it's been 20 30 years you know oh yeah because oh now God. on the top record holders are like fucking proven guinness world record holders yep like you're you're fighting some modern gamers now dude you're old and you're done <laughs> yeah. uh just like to say thank you so much uh vermin art i just grabbed the archive and there's stuff in here that i actually didn't even have like that i'd forgotten about thank thank you so yeah. much uh, like even like all the way back to the original Friday Night Insanity poster, like awesome. Holy shit. Here, I'm gonna drop this in here so everybody can see. I, ha- I have Take it a look. here. He sent it to me privately. Check it out. Yeah, he sent it to me too. The original Friday Night Insanity. Oh, you know, hold poster. on. Roman Art, you're on geeky white. <laughs> hold on a second. Beautiful. Dude. That's going back a bit, eh? Uh, gotta go wow. offline, so I'm not gonna I go didn't know here. why old Friday Night Insanity logo was so bad at Server. <laughs> oh, and there's there's the uh, Herman Art. 50th anniversary Doctor Who stuff he did for me. Oh, you're in Cram OG. Why didn't you just post it in the Cram chat? I'll, I'm Who the cares? Cram. We got it. It's all I'll good. Cram chat and oh, there. I remember that one. Yeah. And I liked. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. Am I in this one? Yeah, I'm in this one. Hold on a second. Is this the, uh... Yeah, here as, uh... Hang on a second. Cognito window. Does that, like, here. work? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I wanted to <laughs> eavesdrop on Stout. I know, right? <laughs> so here's uh, here's us as Universal Monsters. I'm the Frankenstein there, of course. That's available on the store, by the way, on my store. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here, That's let me hold beautiful. on. Beautiful. Very nice. Oh, yeah, the movie Gangbang poster. Shit. Here's the... Hey, uh, uh if we remove two of those faces, we can actually redo those posters. If we could turn those two people into, I don't know, some references instead. There's uh, me. We can me, release those posters again. There's me playing Dead Space 2. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was pretty epic. I'm going to be doing a 10th anniversary uh, playthrough of the Dead Space games, by the way. And I think uh, you and I, Skin Slip, should finally do our co-op run of Dead Space 3. Oh, wait, now he's big dog. Awesome. Yeah. Jumping got... the shark! Oh my god, it's my favorite one. It's you and these. Oh these yes! Oh my god! I remember that was when somebody accused Saturday Night Sandy of jumping the shark. So that was five years ago. I think. So Vermin Art <laughs> immediately <laughs> did this, which is <laughs> me in my my pajama pants and Batman shirt jumping over a shark with laser beam eyes, <laughs> with uh, <laughs> Stout Man and Skin Slip in the water with shark fins. <laughs> Oh my god, the Cinema Toast Crunch thing it means Dow never did. Brilliant. Cinema Toast Crunch. Here, I'll show that one. Yeah. yeah that Cinema Toast Crunch. I maintain that's go. a great name. We need, that we is. need to do it still. I don't know why we never did it. That's also my favorite cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I love it. This all of these logos. Oh, yeah. Look at all of, I have most of this already Selenia. still. Selenia's my sister and I just logos. came in and interrupted. The best interruption ever. Oh, she literally okay. just said, hey, do you want some candy? And oh. I have tons of candy now. Sweet. Oh, yeah. The answer is always yes. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly the exactly what I said. I'm not lying. Verbatim, that's what I said. Oh, here oh, we go. The answer to that is always yes. <laughs> little, so uh, I have any make fucking take a second logos here. for the reviews? What the hell, man? Holy crap, this is huge. I didn't realize this was a 32 I never megabyte got to make... file. I never got to moment. have Roman Art get me logos for my reviews. That's not fair. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Who the fuck got logos for the reviews? Here we go. The original movie gangbang poster, which is great. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you can't technically show that. There's two people who do want their likenesses shown. Oh, well. Too late. Uh, my, this, one's really, this one's really... The person perfect. in the blue shirt and the person in the top hat have to be replaced if we were to release those posters again. I would love to release posters again, but we cannot... Well, because they don't have pr approval from those people. So. All right. Okay. <coughs> I think so, we have for one of them. No. I don't. I don't. Though. No, neither of them. Really? Yep. Can and that's help? fine. It's there. <laughs> it's 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 fine. I'm like I'm not like I'm not like oh. bad or anything. It's just like yeah. just, we had okay. to remove. Yeah. Okay. We we get it. Anyway, um, here's another <laughs> one of me playing Dead Space Two. Dead space. This is more a cartoony one. I think this is the first one that Vermin Art sent me, which is great. Oh yeah, that's, that's cool. Cl clearly, when I had I was shaving my hair more. Well, clearly for the tenth anniversary, we definitely have to commission Vermin Art. I'll actually pay him this time to do some custom. That'd be awesome. Uh, thumbnails for uh, parallel thumbnails for our for our channels. Yeah. So like. What, like it'll be like from each perspective of the same shot. Here's yeah. a a Saturday Night Insanity Matlock poster. Yeah, which, that uh, one. Actually, our faces in that are the faces that are used for our faces in the Discord chat still to this day. Yep. Also used for censorship and also do other weird shit. Yeah. I tell you, you should use that logo that head of yours for the uh, covering up the penis in that one video. Oh no! Look at that look. Look at that face. You're like, ooh. <laughs> <I'm le> <laughs> and here's the one we're talking about, the what I call the MMC Runner poster. Um, I love this so much. Oh yeah, that one's so cool. Uh, it's basically me as as Deckard, but holding a remote control instead of a gun. There's like flying remote controls around. Uh, you notice that uh, on the right there is a giant yeah. spindle. Uh, the the like fucking a, tower is made of VHS. The, the tower is made of VHS and and uh, DVD cases. There's a big laser so, disc on the top of it. You have to use that and in your uh, like your 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 uh, Twitch backdrop for like waiting like 
temper like come yeah I mean, cold, actually cold. yeah that's a really good idea i am totally gonna do that Cause that's so you dude that's so fucking that's you awesome yeah the only uh the only stuff that um i had a few of the sort of work in progress ones i remember when some of the posters and stuff were being developed and um i don't know it's kind of cool to have those two just to just to see the the artistic process, you know, I, I'm always fascinated by that. But uh, the dumpster fire icons I never got to use. Dumpster fire. I will, icon. I will be I will be using those in the future. I have a plan to use. I those. see. I see your animated intro that uh, he did for you. I remember that. That was pretty yeah. cool. And your eight bit geeky intro. Oh yeah, he was working on this N sixty four thing for me, and then uh, things went south, and I never finished working on it. Oh, well. Much love to Urban Art. He's awesome. Absolutely, oh, yeah, yeah. So now you it can see. Box. Now we you can see why we're so happy to have Urban Art back because he always did. It's like just just such awesome artwork him. for him. Also, and, I miss having him on camera because he's a funny dude. And he's just a great guy. He's a so, fucking funny dude. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, you know, he used to come on camera every now and then. So thanks, Vermin. You rock, dude. So like we should actually pay him. I'm saying. Yeah. So hopefully, you, well, yeah, we probably should by this point. Because so we we pay you in exposure. You get all this oh. wonderful exposure. There you go. Oh, Here's God. some exposure for you, buddy. Yeah. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> How's those ramen noodles taste? Yeah, exposure. Mmm. Tastes like exposure. Uh, tastes like exposure. <laughs> uh, exposure flavored ramen. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that vermin art. That's your next chore. That's what you need to draw. Exposure flavored ramen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And we'll pay you for that with exposure. <laughs> oh, that's great. oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Mmm. All right. Since you're dying to do pickups, let's do pickups. Pickups. Okay, pickups. Stout. Go pickups. What'd you get? Well, I went to a uh, convention. <coughs> Boring. Day. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's and, actually pretty um, awesome. It was Emerald City Comic Con. Here's the press badge that I had for it. Yay. I went to get an interview with the guy, and the first thing I did was go to meet the guy, and the first thing he said is he can't do interviews. There's nobody <laughs> won't let him. Perfect. That's Fuck. great. And that's I couldn't get interviews. That's that the whole reason you got the press pass was to go and interview that guy <laughs> for the Ninja Turtles that's website. That's the whole reason, by the way, that I also purchased this this uh, Zoom H1 microphone. Excellent. Which cost about eighty something dollars. Awesome. Which I'm going to sell back and get my money back, but like, it's probably been a short enough time, in fact, that I could just return it, but. No, nah, keep language. it for other conventions where you won't yeah, be allowed to interview you people. Yeah, keep it, dude, because you might use it in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, I don't know if I am, though, because, like, uh, other people might not know, but I just quit my job at TeenageMutantIndustrials.com. Well, so, poop! Yeah. There's not many related <laughs> things. Right <coughs> you can do it for your YouTube as a video. That's, I guess that's true, yeah. That is true. be the new Daily Woo. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, hey, don't make fun of that um, good dude. Even though I already had this Ninja Turtles uh, lanyard here already, mm -hmm. they had like mountains of these other lanyards. Here's what I got for free. Uh, <clears throat> one that I got for Dark Horse. It's this is new collection. I'm gonna start sending you lanyards. Lanyards. Yeah. I've got. Well, I've got dozens of them in the rear. It, it was just because it was free. I'm sending okay. you all the lanyards. I've got a dozen or so. Here. It. <laughs> They're all unique. This is now officially the thing you are collecting now. Oh you have no say in this matter. <laughs> Everybody send me lanyards. <laughs> so, uh, one of the cool things that I found at the convention was this uh, spinner ring. Ooh. He's such a hipster. Plays D&D &D for a year, thinks he's, oh, I'm going to cool this ring. I'm such a gamer. Look at that. Man. Be, be sure... To drink play, your oval teen. Play, play D and D <laughs> twenty years ago, and we'll start talking. Yeah. You know. Go back in time and I'm play more. I'm a gatekeeper about this. I'm gonna be yeah. a gatekeeper about this. <laughs> Hipster. Hipster. 
You fucking so he's hipster. a hipster and you're a D and D snob. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Not really. Um, but <laughs> just fucking around. This uh, really cool print here. Yes. War of the Worlds. I, That's pretty awesome. I should reverse image search needles. that. I yeah. cropped your image and then reverse image search to find the artist because I was curious because I liked it. Oh yes, the the artist. I have the backing here. Vikram Madan. Yes, that's him. Facebook.com art by Vikram or slash art by Vikram. So cool. If you are at all interested in this, that's where you can find it's it. It's really cool. The artwork, the title is Attack of the Space Angels. It's right down there in the corner. But yeah, I really liked it. And one thing that I learned from Skin Slip was to look for things that are unique. Because ah. you're going to see a million pop vinyls. Yeah. You're going to see a million things related to <clears throat> That's true. Uh, comic book characters and whatnot. Yeah. How many times are you going to see War of the Worlds with space needles? That is true. Well, you know, and there's, there's artists who make... We saw an artist who made little <clears throat> figurines. I bought like a Mad Balls type style figure, uh, like uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon resin character nice. because it was unique, you know? I don't have any black Creature from the Black Lagoon stuff. And it's an artist's unique piece of artistic expression. I like the colors, so it was like, yeah, focus on unique things. Because you're going to remember yeah. them and treasure them more. Um, one thing I will say is in the video that I'm going to be putting up on my channel this week, I got some video of a guy who made figures out of scrap metal of like a bunch of geeky stuff. Ninja Turtles included, but he also had like made the... Uh, the arm from the skeletal structure arm from Terminator. Nice. Uh, uh, endoskeleton. Yeah, the endoskeleton. <coughs> and there was like a Yoda there. There was a bunch of different characters there that he had made with scrap metal. Nice. So I was like, that's really awesome. That's pretty cool. Anyway, did you get some I got pictures? these two stickers. Oh, oh that's so cool. Nice. Oh, that's Godzilla. Ooh. Godzilla. God. Ooh. I want to say that is um, first Hedora, maybe. It's definitely when they start training more to a friendly character, like a friendlier face, <laughs> like the bigger, yeah. bigger eyes. I'm not so good at identifying yeah. the suits. I'm yeah. I'm bad at identifying the Showa suits. And then this has to be the most badass slash I've ever seen. That's pretty fucking. <laughs> cool too. I like the colors of that one. Yes, yes. dude. Uh, this is from, uh, these both were from the artist Billy Fowler. I collect stickers, so I'm like, I'm like, I want those. <laughs> Look at those guys on the website and buy them all. I'm just like, can't get all of them. And then I got this for free because I got a T-shirt for my niece. A coexist uh, <coughs> bumper sticker with a bunch of nerdy stuff. There's the TARDIS. There's the eye. Mm. And an X-wing. Two Marvel, two DC. What's the C from? I have no idea. Like That's the Fallout. one that I don't know. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it looks like Fallout. Okay. Is it though? Isn't that the vault door? Somebody, <clears throat> uh, if anybody knows for sure what that C is, let us know. And I, I have not I, attend uh, or nor Westcon. No. I don't know if it is the vault door. That does. My next kind convention of, is. It looks uh, very familiar. I'm going to the Edmonton Can I see convention. It? What is it? Can- I'm going I, to the convention it. in Edmonton, in Canada. I was, at- I was oh, plugging your page. There. What's the C? You know what the C is? What's the C? Yeah, it looks like a gear. It's a Captain America bat. Well, hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Carl says that's C for cuck. C for cuck. Great. And then we got Captain America, Batman, X Wing. What What else are there? We got the TARDIS, TARDIS. Superman, Thor. Yeah. You know, I think I think you're right. I think it is the vault door. It kind of looks like it, yeah. It's got to be. To, Anyways, to represent uh, the world of video games, because they've represented everything else there, kind of. I also got the, some wax packs, three for five. Got two dinosaurs attacks. Oh, that packs. looks cool. And this led to us Thank discussing you. wax packs, and I showed off my wax packs collection to everybody. And nice. then little, little Shop of Horrors. Very nice. He's sending me that. He's actually sending me two of those to add to my collection. So cool. So the reason I really wanted the dinosaurs attacks one. Look how freaking brutal. <laughs> they yeah, but the kids. Did you? Did oh you get yeah. Comic-Con? Did you get the card that talks about Comic Con? There's a card with the Comic Con. The... I did not get that card. That would have been awesome though. Yeah. It's easy. Hold on. Easy Bake Oven says it's cyborg. Oh, it is. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Panic in the stadium. You know what this reminds me of is like Mars Attacks. It's like that's the same good, kind of sequel theory. Yeah, it's, it's sequel oh, Mars perfect. Theory. Excellent. So, Mar okay. Mars so what happened? Was, Mar back. Mars Attacks was also quite brutal and sold there was to a, kids. There's a gruesome like Civil War battles card series that was done in the same art style before yes. Mars Attacks, but not by the same company, <clears throat> ah. the same creative team. And then they cool. went on to do Mars Attacks and Dinosaur Attacks. Awesome. So, well, that looks rad. Go. It's good shit. It is very cool. And then... They used to have a whole set of those. Dinosaur's Attacks. Smile. I think that's Little Shop of Horrors, isn't it? Yeah, it's Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretty I sure. I was Shark Dinosaur's Attacks. But yes. Little <laughs> Shop of Horrors. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. Ah, uh, Fuck. And then you get Audrey 1 with Audrey 2. Very nice. <laughs> Audreyception. So some pretty cool cards there. I was yeah. pretty happy. With yeah, that's pretty rad. I really like that Dinosaur's uh, Attack one, actually. And the most expensive thing, literally the most expensive thing I got at Comic-Con was a t-shirt that I probably won't even be able to wear in public because it's too, like, I'm going to get comments from pa angry parents if I do. Oh, good here. There we go. Oh, you totally should. Fuck those people. <laughs> Perfect. See, Not I told you this wrong. gaming hipster. Beautiful. Rules gaming also say hipster. you're a dick. Gaming <laughs> hipster. <laughs> he plays role playing for one year and he's like, I got shirts and fucking ring dice. But he doesn't Perfect. actually have any real dice. He actually doesn't own a D20. You can fucking actually roll to save his life. Jesus. I'm offended. I'm offended. And the Give reason everything you've fuck. seen tonight has looked so good is because I got a C920 cam. Yeah. Yay. Proper 1080p. You do HD look. Uh, you it's, do look it's better. Not here because I'm using it. That's very Don't nice. Think. And you you got that for like a stupid like crazy price, didn't you? Like through Boot. Twenty-seven forty-nine. Wow. Right. That's awesome. Jesus and that was from Christ. Woot. Woot.com? One of their blogs? Yeah, yep. They had a Woot off. Woot off! Nice. nice. I'm still using the C260 that I dropped in a glass of Coke five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> While hanging out with everyone, I remember it. I saw I the C C920 at Best Buy the other day, and it still goes for about 60 bucks. We were talking about the details earlier. I couldn't remember the details, but I remember him dropping the LA Confidential chat. 20th Anniversary Edition. <laughs> I paid... Uh, Nothing for this. I got a five dollar gift card at Target, and this was five dollars at Target. So perfect, awesome. Kitchen, you paid tax. Oh wait, you didn't have to pay tax. There you go. You paid five nothing for it. <laughs> I actually did have to pay tax. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, there was a sale watching now. from Kino Lorber. So I got a bunch of stuff from Kino Lorber, including. Barton Fink, one of my oh, favorites. Nice, love that movie. Which I have the uh, the region free Blu-ray, or not the region free, but the region Spain. locked Blu-ray it's from Spain or whatever, isn't it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it doesn't have as many special features as this, and this was just nicer in general. I got a Cadillac Man. I got nice. this. Hey, nice for like a buck or something like that. Uh, what? From half price books. I, I got the DVD for a buck. From half price books. Oh. And I watched it and I loved it. So now I have the Blu ray. I thought you paid the dollar for the Blu ray. I was like, what? You son of a no, bitch? No way that would be possible. I'm going to get you, sucker. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, commonly misquoted as being a spoof of black expectation. It's actually a spoof of action films at the time. Just yeah. happened to have a mostly black cast. It, it's a little bit of both, actually. Yeah, is. yeah. yeah a little but, bit, but more but, of action movies and yeah. Clear. <laughs> One of my favorite bits in that is when he gets the tiniest little cut on his finger, and he's going through like the whole yeah. Rambo scene of cauterizing the wound and everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so good. It's like the most pathetic, like practically a paper cut, and they just make it <laughs> so over the top. It's great. It's a great and this movie. The last thing I got was Portrait of Jenny. Uh, I just took a chance on this one because it kind of looked cool. I, I saw a video about this from Joe Dante, who did like a trailer review of it. Probably trailers from hell. Trailers nice. from hell, yeah. 
and he was talking about how it's like a classic it's awesome and there's like some time travel elements to it and i'm like cool that sounds kind of awesome yeah yeah and i've never heard of it before so yeah go ahead why not oh that's right yeah. Meg, mega commandy just uh reminded us the keenan lorber is releasing the martian chronicles miniseries on blu-ray you... um i definitely plan to get that did you watch that movie yet stav nope Okay, I was just curious. I want to hear what you think of it. I'm curious. Yeah. Because I saw that trailer from Hell 2, and I'm like, okay, when you talked about it, and I was like, oh, right. So, yeah. I want to see that movie. That's all I got. Huzzah! All right. All right, Game Air du Garbage. Let's see if you do indeed win. I'm going to be scrutinizing your pickups very heavily after that bold statement. All (laughs) righty. You ready for this shit? All right, I'm ready. Bring on the shit. shit. All right, so I'll start with this. Look at my shit. All the things first. (laughs) So I also took a uh, fun little trip to Target. And for five bucks, I picked up 28 Days Later with the Sugar Skull uh, art card. Beautiful. Wow. I love this. I was seriously considering that, that too, because that looks so good. It's pretty rad. So I got that. I picked up, uh, this was 20 bucks. So it was Okami HD. Oh, nice. I actually didn't know this had a physical release. There you go. Uh, you hold, you now hold it in your like, hand. Like, huh. Huh. <laughs> Yoink. So, uh, so, yeah. So the reason I went to Target initially is because a certain little electronic device got released last week. Ah. Everyone's been talking about it. Uh-huh. So went to Yield Target, and I got me Oregon Trail Portable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's the that's great. yeah. Here's the box. You know, I keep the box that says you died of dysentery. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Bottom, yeah. Only at Target. So it is a Target exclusive item. It's so funny because that game is absolutely from my era, yet I never played it. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I totally missed cool. it. You should well, play. it. I mean, like, apparently should. Yeah. Itself looks like an old Apple IIe. That's great. Um, you know, the little floppy disk you you push that in and the game turns on. <laughs> Uh, but what's cool about That's this, great. this is the original DOS release in its entirety. Wow. So, That's awesome. Yeah, All three kilobytes of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, head there, sure, why not? Wow, look at that. There it so, is. There it is. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's good shit. Yeah, this thing's about twenty five bucks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like I like that. Um so yeah, so that was my those were my pickups from Target. Uh-huh. Uh, this one I picked up purely just to see your reaction. Uh, okay. <laughs> this was at half price, it was five bucks at half price books. It is a Marvel magazine. Mm-hmm. Official Doctor Who magazine. Oh nice. Yeah, I have a bunch of those actually. I also um, picked it up because I love the quote on the front. Yeah, but for my first six months on the show, Tom completely ignored me. John Nathan Turner. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about that right. That's the, that's the cover yeah. quote. Yeah, that's yeah. the cover. Is you know. He, oh, Tom. He, Tom Baker's last few years on the show were notorious for him, you know, just giving the producers a hard time. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, that's that's a wonderful magazine, and they continued to publish that even when the show was off the air for 17 years. Like, they continued to do stuff and talk to the cast and the actors and the the writers and everybody. Um, Great magazine. Oh, yeah. As I pay, I'm like, five bucks. Sure. This is the December 20th, 1995. Yeah. That's around the time that I was collecting it, actually. It was the mid-90s. So, yeah, I actually didn't notice until I got home that it was a a Marvel magazine production. It is. Yeah, Marvel has a UK division, and um, they, they do a whole bunch of stuff over there. Uh, let's see. Real. Yeah, I can actually I, looked can through. I, can I have my chair, there. Damien? <laughs> and uh, inside, actually, let me uh, open this up. And, uh, one, obviously, as it being a Marvel magazine, it's got like mm. Marvel. It's got like comic yep. prints of. There's the Cybermen. The Cybermen, yeah. Phil Cybermen. Uh, but it also <laughs> has towards the end here. Uh, yeah, it has this thing. It has the Telesnap Archive. Yes! That's right. Nice. Because that and was this is this is a cool. archive of 
Uh, during the 70s, many episodes of Doctor Who were held in the BBC archive, many of them. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I believe these are the telesnaps of the very... Uh, of the Highlanders, episode one. Yes, that one is uh, one of the mis- it? it's one of the missing episodes. But yeah, at the time, they hired this guy to do these telesnaps to kind of have a record of you know productions by the BBC. So what he would do is he'd literally just sit in front of the the TV with the camera set up, and you know every scene or so he would take a picture, and that's where these telesnaps came from. And uh, for some episodes, that's the only visual uh, record of any kind of those episodes that exists. Yeah, see, it's interesting. Uh, What I found interesting specifically about this one is I was actually, when you guys were doing your uh, viewings of Doctor Who, Mm -hmm. I was actually with you guys when we watched The Highlanders. Yes. And I remember... I yeah. remember all these snaps. I've seen all these. Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty yeah, that, good quality. That, yeah. Was, uh, that was the story that introduced Jamie. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so there's... Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, they're all there. It's, it's the entire episode. Yeah. And it has, like, descriptions of what's going on in each yeah. scene. So, so that was... Uh, yeah, when Doctor yeah. Magazine published basically all the telesnaps over the course of a few years... And that became, uh, that and any publicity photos that existed for those stories became the basis of fan reconstructions of those missing episodes using the original audio tracks, of course. So, so yeah, it was kind of cool, you know, Mm -hmm. or it is cool to own, like, one of the original sources of where these snaps came from. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) I mean, we basically watched the animated version of that. It just, pretty much. That, and that was about it. Yeah. Uh, so it would have, yeah. it would have the telesnaps and any publicity photos and any surviving clips. Sometimes they have like little, you know, five second clips or whatever. Or like an ad or, or a trailer or something. Yeah, just anywhere they could get pieces of it. So yeah. Official Doctor Who magazine. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so they great. had a couple uh, others there, but I, I saw Tom Baker on the front. I'm like, got it. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, you get you get so... an interview with John Nathan Turner talking about how Tom treated him like shit, like even better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have that issue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so the next pickup here, I got this uh, actually off of uh, Amazon, but it's a Sam's Club special edition mm-hmm. um, of the Atari Flashback. Oh, Eight. nice. Got this nice. one specifically because it has the paddle controllers. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. So it has the paddle control so Such I can play difference. Warlords and Breakout and Kaboom fucking properly. Yes. <laughs> so much uh, better with the paddle. Yeah, this one has a hundred yeah, hundred and eight games. Hundred and five. Nice. The hundred and five games on this thing. That's fantastic. So, yeah, and this is the newer ones that started including the Activision titles. Oh, I remember awesome. finding those in the wild, man, and buying them. Yeah, for yeah, sure. there's, how much there's this so was? many of those. Any of them. Mm-hmm. Any of them. This, thing, this thing was fifty six dollars. That's, That's amazing. not bad at all. That's a great no, price. yeah. The thing has the HDMI version of this that has like 120 games. Yeah, goes for close to 100. Wow, wow. So I'm like, yeah, I'll get the standard def one since I have a nice CRT here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. So do I. Right and, there. <laughs> yeah, and if I want to do it and like capture footage, I have a composite to HDMI converter. I so and I have my camcorder that I can use for that. So, yeah, so there perfect. is. Hey, Justin, were you able to get those pop vinyls when you were at the. Uh, no, sadly. Nah. All, All right, on. so last but not least. Oh, man. My most expensive pickup this Uh-oh. week. I, I got it there in the go. mail today. Cost me over $250. This is the Golden Goose. This is the Golden Goose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bought this uh, again <laughs> off of Amazon. Uh, from 3A Games. I'll show you the manual first. It is called the Pandora's Box. Ah. Pandora's Box 5, specifically. They've had okay. five iterations of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, more than five. It's $100, Justin. Um, but what it is, this is... I, I will say that it is for uh, my nieces to play on, stuff like that. Um, but also it is for if I ever want to stream arcade games. Yeah. Okay. If I ever want to do a live stream of that. It is literally with 960 built-in arcade games. Holy crap. It is literally a giant two-player arcade stick. Oh, wow. That is awesome. That so is can, so I, cool. I a, it's up and running right now. <laughs> and it's just... Uh, nice. How much was that? This, was, this is the, uh, the real legitimate version. So this is about $255. Wow. wow. So I unscrewed this. 
Oh, that is beautiful. So uh, the one thing I will say this, it is an investment yeah. because the buttons and the joysticks that it comes with, they're crap. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, this thing, like, it sticks. It doesn't center right. The buttons, uh... the, the micro switches on the buttons feel like uh, like regular keyboard micro switches. What? A lot of, like, click. You know, there's a lot of force. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. But the good thing about this, mm -hmm. the reason why I got it is the... I don't, Fully customizable, right? You can yeah, put it's your fully own customizable switch and, you can and buttons in. It, it is. is yeah. It's pretty cheap. You get the sticks and buttons. It's like yeah. these are uh, Sanwa knockoffs. Okay. Oh, so okay. I love they Sanwa. All, they have all the connectors for official Sanwa parts. Sanwa is oh. my favorite, actually. So well, there you go. I've already done. I've spent an additional thing. They said this is all because of my refund. <laughs> an additional seventy-five dollars, and I've got on the way complete button replacements and joystick replacements nice to have official sandwa parts on this thing oh, that's yeah, it's like only amazing. 30 bucks per set right uh yeah i mean it was it was 20 it was like 28 dollars <laughs> for all the buttons and then it was like 25 a piece for each oh, of the that's joysticks. that's yeah, the joysticks are expensive because it's basically so you got that buttons. that nice sturdy you know? uh frame for everything now. oh yeah and, and, this, oh. I, I thought i'd seen uh videos of like i said i've done about a year's worth of research on these things yeah um and i've always looked at them and i thought okay it's cool it's like a solid mdf construction it feels like a real arcade machine mm -hmm. you know what this is it's a solid steel oh, wow <laughs> it is metal that has an aluminum base and a steel top cover wow this thing is built. This thing weighs like nine pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's built literally like a freaking tank. That's awesome. So I need yeah. a link to buy this. This Eric. I well, I mean, <laughs> arcade machines. Uh, arcade machines had to be sturdy to take take a lot of punishment. Oh yeah. Because I would just buy one set. Of, I would just buy one set of buttons and a, a new stick. Because I'm a sad sack and I play by myself. But I mean, <laughs> well, there is a cheaper route where you can still go official. Like this box in here. This is the Pandora's box. This is. It's in its entirety. So that's where all the games could, come from, eh? Yeah, you could buy one of these things alone, and have it, and buy a JAMA compatible version, uh, uh, for like ninety bucks. Oh wow! The, the what makes it two hundred something dollars is this whole custom design here. Yeah. I know. I kind of want the whole kit though. Like so, yeah. two hundred bucks is not too bad. I could save up for that. It is yeah, pretty there, sexy. There is a my birthday is knockoff that runs very similar hardware, almost identical. Um, it's called the it's called the Pandora's Box 5S. Mm. It's about half the price. Okay. You get it for about 155 or so. Um, but I've I've heard some weird things about them, some emulation issues with those. This one I bought specifically because it has like it runs a quad core processor, two gigs of RAM, and like I said, and it has 960 confirmed uh, individual games. Hey, it's yeah. 600, 680 in one Pandora's Box 4S. Yeah, the 4S. Ooh, I don't. 130 bucks. I don't <laughs> recommend the 4S either because they used a mobile 1.7 gig processor, single core, mm -hmm. and half the games run at like half speed. Wow. And it runs audio sounds like shit. Like the, this was a major overhaul for them. All the games run at full speed, and accurate emulation on this, which is why this one's more expensive. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so. Super yeah. duper. Right on. I just went typed in eBay. Just I was like, I want to see all the knockoffs. Oh yeah, you, they're on, you can find them on eBay. You can find them. I found this one on Amazon. I um, had no intention of buying the knockoff. Obviously. Just just make sure it says if you're gonna buy one, and make sure it says it's Pandora Five Four S Four, and it's by Three A Game. This is the actual company that makes them. Three A Game. Three A Game is the real company that makes them. Did you buy it off their website or something? No, I bought it off Amazon. Well, off Amazon, okay. Yeah, there are third party. Like I got this from a third party, but they will. They have like licenses that can they you know all that. All right, shit. that's fine. Just make sure they say it's an official, and if you're still not sure, just ask them if it's from 3A game. <clears throat> and if they say yes, then you're good. There you go. Uh, you send me said, ask me what's my favorite hey. game on the Pandora box. Hmm. Uh, right now it's a tie between. Um, Cadillac and Dinosaurs and the Punisher. <laughs> oh, dude, both of those. I love the Punisher game. Is that this the same one or the beat em up? Which what? The beat em up or the shoot up game of Punisher? Uh, the beat em up. Oh, dude, I love that game uh, so much. <laughs> this thing, I was surprised. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, it's going to have. I know it has all the classics like Pac Man, Donkey Kong. It has all of those. 
and has all the fighters, all the King of Fighters, uh, all the way up to Street Fighter Three Third Strike, everything, uh, something like that. But I did not expect this thing to not only have Battle Toads, but also Ninja Baseball Batman. Nice is on this thing. <laughs> not actually related to Batman. It's just a neat beat him up. You say Ninja yeah, Baseball, Ninja Batman? Ninja Baseball <laughs> Batman? Ninja Baseball Batman. Okay, yeah. I did hear to that. Beat right. him up, to beat him up with a <laughs> baseball player style ninja guy. Yeah, neat. I want it. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, James Rolf. I, I will. James, James Rolf has done two videos about that game already. He okay. uh, he yeah. did he did one uh he did one a long time ago about like awkward game titles, mm -hmm. uh and he did another one where he went to a uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade, and they actually had a real uh Ninja Baseball Batman machine. Nice. nice. There's only like three in the U.S. <laughs> I guess you're not super. Send me a link to the one I'm supposed to, I actually that, should find. That is the one thing that I because there are a few games that, like a millipede and centipede, this does not have a trackball. Yeah. Nor does it have the interface for a trackball. Does it have the ability to plug in a trackball like separate? Uh, I I mean, there's the JAMA version of it. Ah. Uh, the JAMA version might. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll have the pins for a trackball. Um, your thing doesn't have the pins in your box. You just gotta. No, this is this is the home <clears throat> version, which okay. runs on a different interface. Gotcha. Um, if you the you'll notice that the home version looks like a little. It's just a little square with one rounded corner and a fan. The there's a, there is actually an, a uh, like a store arcade version that looks like a PS4. Actually, it's like oh, weirdly Lord. planted, and but that's for the Gamma Harness. So. Um. Cool. Yeah. So if you're ever looking to get arcade stuff, Garbage Game is your man. <laughs> yeah, yeah you I, have I a huge resource of information. I, I totally right here. no, don't know what I'm talking about at all. And he's got the trackball there. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I have a trackball yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, is that? I'm guessing that was the piece. The that, that was that the was piece the of finale. resistance. <laughs> the piece of resistance. Yes. Yes. Excellent. All right. So the two big surprises were Oregon Trail and. My and arcade. Pandora's box. That's pretty awesome. Pandora's box. Alrighty, skin slip. What you oh, got? Oh, turn finally. Cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> first up. <laughs> first up, I I got a package from Anonymous. He, I thanked him. I know who it was, but he put Anonymous in the package. This is what he gets. Okay. Uh, I got Robotech number two. I'm oh Olympus yes. Number one now, and I got Robotech Sentinels Rubicon. Sweet. So, which unfortunately has a really faded spine. Oh really? But it doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, dude, it's. I finally had the book. It's really the book's fine. Yeah. It's fade. I'll live. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just need book one now because it's like it says like one through fifteen or whatever or eighteen, and then it says then there's five more, but those are the Rubik. This is it. Yes. These are five, and then there's then there's, there's one the last through, volume. Basically, there's one through twelve, which adapt the original right. series. Then there's the five Sentinels books. Which I have all then, that. Then there's uh, seventeen through twenty one, which are the rest of them. Yeah, I have those. Yeah. Oh. Um, you, you're only missing book one. Yep, that's all I'm missing. I have an extra book one I could send you. Uh, why don't you mail? I'll, I'll send you send it to my girlfriend. She's in Canada. Okay. Well, actually, I'll just bring it with me. I'm with very that. slowly putting together a package for you anyway. But now that I know you need that, I will include put that in the. Package, the I will put it in the. Package. Yay! I now have a complete collection there of Robotech. Eventually, those books are great. By the way, I don't know if you've read any of them, but uh, they I've are. I've read the first five. They are wonderful. I, I need to get back to it. I've read the first six, and then I read the Zentradi Rebellion, which in continuity occurs next. Ah. So. It's quite good. Uh, Very good stuff. And then, last but not least, I, I bought a toy because my girlfriend left and I was sad and I wanted to appease my inner child. So I bought Rodimus Prime. Nice. Now, I had the original Rodimus Prime <clears throat> as a kid. So <clears throat> Rodimus, and Rodimus Prime was my first Autobot leader. I did not know why everyone was crying when <laughs> Rodimus Prime. I had no fucking idea why everyone's so mad. Yeah. Rodimus Prime was the man. Why would you hate Rodimus? He's so fucking cool. He's a young kid. <laughs> He was brash. He made mistakes. It's like I could grow up with him. I really mm -hmm. liked Rodimus. Uh, Optimus was like perfect and a goody two shoes and didn't make any fucking fuck ups. And yeah, like, I don't know. 
I remember, Ronis is the man. All I right? remember when we watched the, the Generation 1, we were talking about that quite a bit when we got to Season 3, which was yeah. the post-movie season. And That uh, was my first season. Well, and and just generally the writing in that season took on a much more adult tone. Like, the stories were more complex and interesting and had more depth to them. So It was great stuff. He turns into his vehicle mode, standalone mode, and he combines with the trailer to make Rodimus, which is That's awesome. this. So he's both yeah. Hot Rod and Rodimus. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, and, <laughs> and his chest flips open. <clears throat> uh, little work. And he's got a, a, a leadership. Nice. Paper. So yeah, the Matrix. Cool. <laughs> I see. I don't. I don't. Gen. I went in to get a movie, but like I don't. I, I always cruise the toy aisle too, and I never get Transformers here because they just never. They're in, they're never in stock. They're always sold out. Oh yeah. So when I find one, I'm pretty stoked. But when I find one that I would never find for this price because they don't want to pay inflated eBay prices. Yeah. Where it's like ten, fifteen dollars more than the retail. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I found this for retail. I'm excited. Yeah. For spent sure. too much fucking money on it, but I have a Rodness figure now again for the first time. In Yay! Twenty years. There's I have a I have a, wrong with that. a hot rod. I have the hot rod like commemorative re re release of the original figure, but I don't have the hot Rodimus. Yeah. So I got this guy. But that's everything. That's all I got. Awesome. I don't actually have money. I spent money I shouldn't have even spent. That's okay. You got Rodimus. That's money I was spending my girlfriend instead. I bought a toy. <laughs> priorities um yeah, all right good. so i only have four items this week but uh there's some good ones now um as you know or some of you have been following the saga there's a bunch of things that i ordered back at the beginning of january that i've been waiting and waiting and waiting to come in um i found out possibly one of the reasons some of the stuff took a while was because our regular letter carrier broke her ankle and I uh, was not able to deliver the mail for a while. So they finally got things sorted out, and I guess they're getting through the backlog. And one of the things that arrived was one of the two packages I've been waiting for. Um, so what it was was two sets of Family Guy. And I ordered them through Blow It Out of Here, uh, which is a seller that I've used many times before. I've talked about them before. They're great, generally. We all um, use them. <laughs> I... Um, but I, I had to leave them my first negative feedback ever uh, for a couple reasons. I mean, first off, it took literally about two months to get the package. And I mean, letter carrier breaking your ankle or not, we were not without mail for two months. We were out maybe for a week. So that took way longer than it should have. Um, in fact, it took so long that the money back guarantee that eBay gives you was expired because uh, it was passed. They only give you 30 days. It's like, well, what if it takes longer than 30 days to get to me? Like, what the fuck? So in this case, right. it, it literally took two months. Um, second, the... Well, let me show you. Here. So I we, hear post is awful there. My girlfriend complains about all this. We time. got... Uh, so we got volume 10. Here. I'm waiting for it to show up. Very nice. Yeah. And we got season 13. Here. It's very nice. Now, what's wrong with these? Well, you may notice they're missing something. There's no slipcovers. Yeah. The pictures on the listing, there's two stock pictures for these oh, sets. God. And the stock picture that Blow It Out here used for both of them was the stock picture of the slipcover artwork. So oh. I naturally thought they would have the slipcovers. They did not. Um... I'm definitely happens, unfortunately. Ki kicking myself because I waited so long to get these that uh, I should have just bought them when they first came out. Because especially uh, with the more recent releases, the slipcovers have been very rare and disappear quickly. Um, so going forward, I'm just going to grab them as soon as they come out, basically, new release okay. price. And you're going to sit on eBay until you find one for a good price to replace yeah. those. And, with. That, yeah, it's, it's not a priority, uh, but, I mean, I will definitely do that at some point. Um, yep. But uh, on the plus side, those were the last two sets I needed to complete my Family Guy collection. So, at least in terms of the uh, show, I'm right up to date. I've got everything now. So then, uh, next thing was uh, an Amazon order. Uh, this is basically a gift card purchase from uh, middle of last month or end of last month. Uh, this one only took a couple weeks to get to, which is about average for um, Amazon.com orders. 
So I got uh, one that a lot of you got, the Criterion Edition of Night of the Living Dead. Yep. It's very yes. nice. Had to kind get of annoyed it. it's in a digipack, but... Had to uh, get this. Yeah, I'll show... Uh, very nice... Uh, a second here. Very nice uh, package art, though, if we take a look here. It's just going to get beat to shit, unfortunately. Rock, rock cover. Yeah. And Bummer. it's in just kind of a cheap-ass digipack with uh, the two discs. Not touching, but it's one of those ones that has the overlap. I, I wish it was there. just in a plastic but, case with a slip cover. Like I would have just been better and, with that. And then instead of a booklet, okay. what we have here is a poster, which actually is not uncommon with um, uh, like base level criterion. It's quite nice. And then on the back is where we get the uh, you know the sort of customary essay about the film yep. and all the other oh, stuff. Oh wow, so. you're more daring than I am to pull that out. I oh, didn't I, I, want to pull that out. Oh, I folded it out. Yeah, I read the whole thing. Anyway, um, yeah, it's yeah nice. a lot of uh, low-level criterions, you know, the base-level ones that are normally in the plastic cases, yeah. have fold out posters that are essays also. But, uh, but yeah, great to booklets. to finally see this get the uh, royal treatment. So looking forward to that. And there's a lot of content on there. It's a lot of oh, new stuff that we've never seen before. The transfer is so beautiful. And then another one that pretty oh. much all of you got, and I had to join the party. I picked up the 35th anniversary edition. Of your the hunter from the future. <laughs> yeah. Yay. You can now do it, that, Justin. So there we go. And this is no, it does indeed well, have buy it already. the slip cover, of course. It's like seven dollars, dude. I Just know, get it. So we can all watch it together. The one that I found out that got released from uh Mill Creek on Blu ray finally was Mary Riley. I did not know that's on Blu ray, but it is. Oh, I remember that. Not I think um Mary Riley. Oh, no, I have that from Mill Creek, yeah. I, but I think I have it in a yeah. four-pack. I don't think I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah, I think you have the DVD. I think. It's mm -hmm. not on Blu-ray from Mill Creek, yeah. so. It's all right. I, I didn't think it was great, but I, I, I thought it was okay. I Same. like it enough that I want it on Blu-ray. Some interesting <laughs> some interesting ideas. I, it, it's a bit mostly unsuccessful film, I think. Yeah. I don't mostly know. unsuccessful. That I, don't, was sad I don't remember it. much about it. I remember Julia Roberts movie. wasn't the problem in that movie. That's, no. that's what I remember. <laughs> she no. was actually one of the better parts of it. So. Oh yeah, no, she was fine. Um, and that's it. That's all I got. So the two Family Guy sets, your and Night of the Living Dead. There you go. Your, hurry up and get that stuff, and we can all watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Does he say your? Your. No, you assholes. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You got to say it properly. It's your. He's the man. Your <laughs> world. He's the. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Ninja Baseball Batman. Oh, yeah. Ninja Baseball Batman. That's Ninja Baseball Batman right there. Is it? Yep. And copyright strike. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about Ninja Baseball Batman. Nobody. Wow. Except hardcore gamers. I wow. Care. Nice cartoony uh, cutaways there. I like that. Stage two in Cisco. I'm in a car. Rawr. <laughs> Yay! Oh, the obligatory side-scrolling driving level that always <laughs> not great. Liter bullet. Literally Just seeing a frame every three seconds here. Oh, I love those enemies <laughs> with the, the pumpkin heads. They're so cool. Actually, I like the uh, the visuals in this. Very, very cartoony. Yeah, good, it's good stuff, man. Very nice. But yeah, Eric, you're gonna have to shoot me a link to that thing so I can get one too. Yep, sure will. Cause, dude. I need one of those. Oh, I'm fucking sick. I was like, Come oh, I'm going to do like an emulator box, and mm. I'm going to do it. I'm like, nah. Nah, I think I'll just buy this one like this, and then I have a few other plug and plays and call it a day, you know? Probably a lot easier that way. Speaking oh, of yeah. closer looks, what is coming up tomorrow? What are these things? I don't... <laughs> oh, God. That, that's a big pair of balls. That's a big thing of balls. Oh, got it. Things are falling. So, Sean, there's something in the shit post that I think you should share that uh, our good friend uh, Mike shared. Okay. Because it was never shared by Skin Slip, only Mike. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Fuck you. But you want to be careful, don't want to show it all on uh, all his shit posts on the screen because. There's some stuff on there that maybe you don't want shown on your video. Oh, uh, okay. Like, um, 
I'll repost it in Cram. Which one am I oh, looking yeah. for here? I'm so far Repost behind. It, it he, he's reposting it. I'll just look but for all the things that Mike posted and ignore it, everything that Skinslip posts. It's a Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean thing. Pirates of the Caribbean. And you have to read this. Oh, you, have to, you have to read, read it out loud. You have to. Yes. Don't, don't reveal it. Just read it out loud. I'll just read it. Don't show it. Yeah. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Read the, the tweet first. Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. Well, hold on. Know. Is it just the image, or is there, like, more to There's it? There's more than one page. Oh, okay. Go hold on. Page. I'm going. So I'm going. And the oh tweet's my God. not real. Okay. I don't care. Um, okay, so it says, I forced a bot to watch over 1,000 hours of Pirates of the Caribbean movies and then asked it to write a Pirates movie of its own. Here is the first page. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. There's one for Saw also. All right, all right. Um, so the title of the film is Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead tales tell no dead men dead, 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 die, <laughs> dap, dead, dead, too. <laughs> <laughs> External. Caribbean. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, pirates around on a boat ship. Poseidon, Pope of the Water, jumps out of the water, but he is the water, so now there's no water. <laughs> okay, Sparrow, Arg, the water's gone. Poseidon, silence. Poseidon's eyes are beach balls. <laughs> Poseidon continued Are you the Jack Sparrow From the other terrible movies <laughs> Sparrow That depends What's in it for me The Jack Sparrow <laughs> Jack drinks a bottle of Bacardi rum The only rum made from real bats <laughs> Poseidon I have a mission for you at the end of the ocean. Kira Knightley, the woman from Atonement, 2007, jumps onto the boat ship, sword in hand. Kira, time for some atonement, 2007. <laughs> Smash cut to internal Caribbean. Smash cut to external Caribbean. Smash mouth to in. Somebody mouth. once told me the world was going to roll me. <laughs> yeah. Also, the uh, Saw version. There's the one for Saw, too. Oh, God. Okay. It's even funnier. I think it's even funnier, personally. Okay, that was pretty hilarious. Let me find the Saw one here. Um, the title's the best. Cram. Okay. <laughs> die, Depp, die, 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 dead, too. <laughs> Right. Saw nine. Saw with Tabata. Let me do it. Okay. All right. Here we are. I forced a bot to watch over a thousand hours of the Saw movies and then asked it to write a Saw movie of its own. Here is the first page. Uh, <laughs> Saw nine. Saw a dabba da bang da bang diggy diggy diggy. Int. Whale. <laughs> okay, we're in a whale, apparently. A sexy woman, Becky Sex Woman, is covered in blood, <laughs> chained to a bed. She's in a whale, but doesn't know it yet. Becky. Ah! Blood is supposed to be inside my body, not outside it. <laughs> An old TV turn... An old TV turns on. We know it's old because it's covered in cobwebs and voted for Trump. <laughs> the, the doll from the other movies appears on the screen, but this time he's sexier. We know he's sexier because he's covered in sex webs. <laughs> oh sex, sexy doll. Hello, Becky. Want to play a game? <laughs> Becky. Yes, of course. Don't be silly. Yes, 100%. Game, please. <laughs> <laughs> Becky still doesn't realize she's inside a whale. <laughs> Sexy doll. Becky, you are inside a whale. <laughs> Becky now realizes she's inside a whale. She's fine with it. 
<laughs> Sexy Doll continued. I hid the key to this whale inside your pancreas. Becky whispers to self. Good thing I'm a pancreas doctor. <laughs> Sexy Doll. But since I know you're a pancreas doctor, I took it out of your pancreas and put it in one of your kidneys. The cool one. <laughs> <laughs> Becky whispers to self, Ah, fuck. I don't know kidneys. <laughs> A countdown starts counting down from one hour on the TV. Sexy doll. Whoa, what the fuck is that? I didn't do that. Who did that? <laughs> the, <laughs> the whale did that. <laughs> no. Damn the whale. <laughs> Damn whale. <laughs> now, of course, it's not actually done by a bot. It's a joke, but yeah. Oh my god, brilliant! It's pretty funny. Whoever though. wrote these, Keaton Patty wrote them. Pat Keaton okay. Patty, yeah. Keaton with a they K, have... Patty with an I. That is just some of the best writing I've seen in a while. That was it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Incredible. Covered in sex webs. Yeah, that that was the best part right there. It feels almost like something Douglas Adams would write if he was a little more raunchy. Huh. Really? <laughs> crazy. Crazy. That's, that's, that's probably the end of the show, right? I think that's a good place to end. <laughs> Let's end on a high note. Oh! All right. <laughs> Let's um, end with sex webs. Let's end with <laughs> the sex webs, yes. Covered in sex webs. <laughs> uh, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> I think I might do something after the show. What should I do? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I could sleep. I mean, I'm going to talk to my girlfriend. Cool. Ah, what do I got on Steam? Oh, wait, nothing is installed because all my hard drives crashed. Um. <laughs> uh -huh. Chipball son of a bitch. You could download one of those really small games. Actually, one of the nice things that did happen after the update is suddenly I have a lot more room on my SSD drive. So I could actually just kind of install things as I'm playing them and put them on the SSD drive. And thus they would, you know, run a lot more smoothly, I think. Probably. Right on. They may run the smoother-liest. The smoother-liest, indeed. <laughs> yeah, right now it says I have seven games installed, and that's because they're all on the only hard drive that didn't crash. <laughs> and none of them are ones that I want to play right now, so... All right. So, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should play something. Lots of games to play here. The skin flute. Play the skin flute. Yeah. <sighs> I, I like on the back of my manual for the Pandora box. It says, "Thank you for buying and using this product. Wish you a happy hours." <laughs> happy hour. Happy hours. Yes. Well, and thank you for wishing. Is it just platformers and like, or is there like? Oh no, there's uh, shmups. Yeah. There's fighters. Like there's a racing game from Sega. I'm thinking of. Uh, there's Outrun on here. No. Outrun. Thinking there's, there's another one to top down racing. Oh, uh, there's uh, yeah, there's a ton. There's like all of the there's Wonder Boy. Wonder oh, Boy. <laughs> Look at all the Street Fighters. Street all Fighter. The the Hyper Fighting Championship. And Street Fighter Super, Super Street Fighter Two X Grandmaster Challenge. Grandmaster <laughs> Challenge. Jesus. Hyper Pro Fighting. Master Hyper Challenge. Fighting Two Turbo. That is crazy. Like I remember when all those came out, and we're all just like. Okay, can you just do a Street Fighter 3, please? <laughs> like, how many remixes do we need of Street Fighter 2? I mean, really? Really? Yeah, see, it's got the, the two sets of Champion Edition, the Red Wave, mm -hmm. the Tao Long Edition, the Championship M2, M4, M5, M6, and M7. Mm -hmm. Jesus which, Christ. These, these are all, like, these subtle iteration changes they did, like, balancing. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in any of those. <laughs> just give me Street Fighter 2, bro. Yeah. You mean one of the championship editions? I'd say yeah, yeah, championship uh, or maybe it's championship edition turbo. <laughs> non Street Fighter two original Street Fighter. Holy That's shit! Crazy. Champion edition M two M four M five M six M seven like, t wow. Yeah, Mega Man the Power Battle. Excellent SD uh, King of the Monsters. 
Yep, both King of the Monsters and Samurai yeah. Showdown. All the Samurai. Completely players. different on the on the Genesis and Super Nintendo. So How many all... games were on here? Did you say? Nine hundred and sixty. Wow. Real about Fatal Fury Special Two. Real the about Fatal Fury Two. The newcomers. Ninja has got Waku Waku Seven. Waku Waku. Waku Waku. Uh, voltage, like voltage. Fight. Oh, Gal Kaiser! Yeah. That's uh, an anime. Power too. Instinct. Got Gal Kaiser. Or are you thinking Gal Gygar? No, I'm not thinking Gal Gygar. Okay. Got the Dragon Ball Z games on here. Gal 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 Gygar. Gal 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 Gygar. There's like a whole series of those animes. That's got Gal Gal Gar is just one of them. I know. So, okay, Great series. The shmups here. So Brave Command Deck One. That's like one of the ones I have. I have uh, toys R-type. for, but I've never seen the anime for. <laughs> R Type, R Type Two, R Type Leo. Soul Divide, the Sword of Darkness. Firehawk. Guardian Storm. Metal uh, let's see here. Sega Arcade. Top Down it's, Rally. It's got the infamous Zero Wing. The someone set up us the bomb. Oh. Except that was the Sega Genesis port of it, yeah. apparently. Yeah. This is the arcade release. The original arcade release. Yeah. Did not have the opening cutscene. Oh, here it is. It's called. Oh. No, the, the storyline was added to the Genesis version. Yeah. The game I'm looking for is called. Oh. oh. <coughs> That's not helpful. That didn't find what I was looking for. Shit. Ooh, Captain. actually, this is a demo. I could play this demo. It's, it's called World demo. Rally. That's a possibility. That's the name of the game. It's called World Rally. It's an arcade game. World Rally. Okay, I'll I'll look for it. Uh, sexy Parodius. <laughs> Sexy. Hey, if you've never played the Parodius games, you need to. They are fun. Biohazard Battle. But sexy Parodius, bro. <laughs> sexy Parodius. Sexy. Like, like if I you've ever, don't know never, have to be if you've never played a Parodius game, if you've ever wanted to know what the video game equivalent to an exploitation movie is, mm-hmm. play a Parodius game. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> fart noises. <laughs> I like dicks and farts and oh yeah, it's got uh, pee jokes. Now th- this one just says cotton, but the full title is Panorama Cotton. World Rally Championship. Apparently, it's a Gail Gelco game. Got Truxton. <coughs> Gelco, however you say that. Well, I have Carston. 1993 uh, rally. Uh-huh. All the gun birds. 1944. Fives. Yeah, someone set us up the giant bomb. Wait, what? So, so here's all the. What, it's called the uh, cave games. This is the that was the platform they were on. So it's got the Dodon Pachis, the Don Pachis, ESP Raid, Gunwang, Guangji. <laughs> that looks like it says. Yeah, I know. Dan Gun Fevron. Thunder Dragon. Stagger One. The original Truxton. Truxton. Uh, yeah, there's oh. side Battler, mm. uh, Eight Forces. Eight Forces, Flying Tiger. So many games! Yep. Cybern? Wow. Mm. Like Wyvern with a C. Don't worry, chat. I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Neither have I. Hello, Real chat. Good. How are you today, chat? Valley Championship Arcade. <laughs> Bam. I'm just kind of waffling on what I... I want to play something, but I'm not sure what I want to play. Like, if I want to several... Get ones because i've got like i've got graphic adventures what you should play a game oh mazinga z i That's say it. i didn't know there was a top-down shooter of mazinger i want to See, play I that just, now i i just finished like two fairly lengthy horror games uh outlast whistleblower and resident evil 7 spookies so with spookies oh, god yes. spookies, spookies. Uh, Spookies. Spookies. Just do it. You know you'll f- be fine once you start it. Spookies. Jackal. Jackal. Uh, like jackal. Spooky. Is it a jackal? You know, we have a command in the chat for that. For the jackal joke. Uh-huh. A lot. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting into the older games here. Oh, you do this exclamation point jackal into our Discord and does the whole jackal gif. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's the Just for you, Eric. Mantra. Just for you. Super. Ooh, I didn't even know this was You're on. You're not even listening to me. It's all right. I know. I'm, I'm Jackal. <laughs> 
It's funny because you get like I'm just, I'm just not to respond. I, I, I know, I know. It's just being <laughs> the jackal. Is it a jackal? The jackal. Soccer it's brawl. Jackal. Shit, it's the cool. jackal. Soccer brawl. Dude, it's like full contact soccer fighting game. Look at that shit. Like the jackal. Two powers. <laughs> Holy it's shit! Like if, it's like if Blitz was soccer. Those are my like favorite. Like if it was a jackal. Uh, strong punk shot. Uh, what is punk shot? Of Sunset Riders. Yes, it does. Dude, this punk, punk shot sounds cool. Punk shot. What is punk shot? Is. Uh, oh, dude, it's like a street. Oh, dude, it's like. Uh, oh, dude. NBA oh, hang time. Dude. Oh, no, no, dude. No, 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 It's uh, the <laughs> fucking one on the Genesis. We run around and punch each other. Oh, um. Each other. Fuck. Uh, oh, Mutant, dude. Mutant League? No, not Mutant League. It's. Uh, fucking Christ. Oh, there you are. Something, uh, dude. Uh, dude. Full contact basketball. <coughs> oh, what's this basketball? Dude. Something hoops. Something hoops. 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 Rivals. Hooped. Arch rivals. Arch rivals. Dude. Arch rivals. That's the one where they punch each other in the face. It was like a, it was like oh. a street ball NBA version of Arch Jam. rivals. NBA Strong said wants to know if it has sunset riders. It, it does. does sun, sunset riders. And sun, wild riders. Sun, and sun, sunshine, sunshine riders. Sunshine riders. <laughs> I have sunset riders. Sunshine. On the Super Nintendo. Oh, track and field. The Hyper Olympic apparently. Good lord. Sunshine I wonder if it's race. just like really fast. Just hit A a lot. <laughs> Power goal. Hyper Olympic. This, this, in this game, Blades when you start running with Blades insane goal, yeah. you just start flying. My favorite thing about Blades of Steel is they thought, <laughs> they thought hockey was too complex, so they simplified it and made it to a face punching game. I love it. <laughs> my favorite. Load Runner. Oh my god, those are fucking classic. Loadrunner games. This one so, oh, so Load Runner my jam, dude. Load Runner. Super dodgeball. I used yeah. to play Load Runner two quite a bit There's on the a Apple. Couple II. of games in this universe that art style. Sports games. How about yeah? yeah Jumpman was another one. Jumpman Junior actually was the one I used to play a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Windjammers. Nice. The hardest nuts game. Thrash Rally. Oh hey, we're oh there it is. Bomb Blombie Car. That's 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 the game engine. That's the game engine. That right there, keep that that third perspective. That's the yeah. That's the game engine that they run it on. So they, they must have the game. There's Neo Drift out, new technology. Yep, that's that's the one I was thinking of actually. But there's a World Rally. It's the is World Rally Championship would be the one I'm specifically looking for. But there's Outrun. I'm sure it's there. You're in this racing game section, so. I like yeah. how it gives you little. And I moved off the oh. Neo Bomber man. <laughs> Damn it! I guess it doesn't have World Rally. Bummer. Yeah. Bouncing balls. I had Blombie car though. That's acceptable. And Tetris. Tetris. Weltris. Weltris. Final Tetris. Final Tetris. What the Lies. fuck? Lies. Lies. Not sure what that was. Holy shit. There is like no characters. Final Tetris. For those who didn't know, there is a Tetris. Tetris arcade machine. The absolute. The grand master. <laughs> two. Weltris. Oh. oh that, whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. That looks like a trackball game, though. Yeah. I wonder if that puzzle fighter. These are a lot of... Like Tetris knockoffs? Yeah. Uh, well, Columns, other puzzle games, yeah. There's like oh, a wave of them. Columns is good. Bubble Bobble, that's the one I want. Yeah. Oh, there, there's there news, or that's Poyo Poyo. Poyo Poyo, good stuff. Uh, Not my favorite puzzle oh, game. There's Poyo Poyo. Actual Poyo Poyo. <laughs> Actual fun. Oh, yeah, that's the one that uh, Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine was based on. Based on, yeah. Yep. Good All game. Right. Just not like my favorite. A Tetris is so much better. Yeah, and I like good. Bubble Bobble personally. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's there it is, Puzzle Bobble. Yeah, yeah, Puzzle Bobble. All the puzzle oh, dude, puzzle. I want all. I definitely, definitely want that now because look at all those Puzzle Bobbles. Oh. <laughs> Magic. All those modern. Oh, Magical Drop. I know that one. All the different Puzzle Bobble ripoffs. Oh. But all these. There's like a like, Magical Bubble. Page. Puzzle bowling, local puzzle <laughs> exchanger. I mean, these are all. Hey, look! Oh my God! Oh, it's is... it's um, oh, what the hell is Zumba? Or whatever, right? Zo Zuma. Uh, Zuma. That's what it was. Yeah. Zuma. Was, oh, was this all... is what this is. What Zuma is based on? Yeah, uh, actually, Puzzle Loop. Nice. I actually really I liked uh, Zuma. You probably like Puzzle Loop. Mighty then. Pang. I probably would. Yeah. The hell, Mighty Mighty Pang. Pang? What the fuck? Oh, I know this game. 
I don't know what the hell is happening. You pretty much <laughs> you got these giant balls that are dropping from the sky, and you got to shoot up, and they get smaller and smaller as you shoot them. Oh, okay. Multiple. And just... Silly. Okay. It's oh, there we go. Okay. There's a game when I was little. And you get, like, power-ups uh, and stuff. Crazy fight. For MS-DOS mm. called Spitwad Willy. <laughs> it was That's exactly funny. like this. Ah. So let's see. I could play some kind of point-and-click thing. I have some... Quite a lot of those. Capcom Sports. Crazy yeah, fight. What? Like an, oh, like hey! An adventure game. Huh? Cool. What? Yeah. You should like an adventure game. That's what I was thinking. Like, uh, yeah. I've got the Gabriel Knight games, which I never played. Oh, those are fun. Um, ah, Puzzle Fighter. What the hell I got? I got, like, Police, yes, Puzzle I've got, like, Fighter. Space Quest and, X and Turbo. all those. Space uh, Quest would be awesome. You should do Space Quest, dude. I've, I've got I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. No, do that one. Do that one. That's one of my favorites. It's Which one? It's one of my favorite Harlan Ellison stories. Really? I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Do okay. that one. Have you ever read it? No. Oh my god, please play that one. That is so up your fucking alley. Yeah. You were going to love the shit out of that. Oh. You were going to love that. Okay. No joke. That is totally your speed. Yeah, well, that's why I got it. I, it the description sounded awesome. I got uh, Phantasmagoria, uh, Seventh Guest. Hey, Arkanoid, finally. Pinball, uh, oh, pinball. Ooh, pinball action, nice. We both had the same reaction. Ooh, yeah, pinball dude. action. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they have the one where you're uh, moving boxes in a warehouse. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> There's a puzzle game where you move boxes in a warehouse with a forklift. It's like, uh, it's awesome. kind of cool. It's a neat little game. You for the NES, but it was also apparently an arcade version. Water balls. Yeah, it's just a fucking weird puzzle bobble ripoff. There's a bunch of rhythm games. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Rockin' Four. Here. Rockin' Four. Tetris Plus Two. Uh, oh, look, it's a reverse puzzle bobble. <laughs> there's classic. Oh, yeah, this is one of those three in one classic collections. It has yeah. Zinius, uh, Galaga and Galaxian. Yeah. I don't even what's, know what's that. funny about this classic collection is all three of those games are individual on this list. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that happens a few times. Yeah. And then this is the most complete out of all the iterations they have. But yeah, there are like unintentional loop overs. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not I'm expecting it. You know. I mean, yeah. What, what, what do you I'm expecting at least like 20 duplicates to 100 duplicates? You know, like. Yeah. Like all right. Nightmare in the Dark. Also, you know, 20 copies of Street Fighter fucking 2 shouldn't count as 20 things, you know. Oh, That's the way it is. Oh, 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 those are the those are the fucking NES ones. Man, Tetris Worlds was the shit, D-Large. Let me tell you, I love Tetris Worlds. Wait, hey, Joan Mac! Huh. Dark Tower. Oh, God, Dark Tower. <laughs> Ultra Balloon. Yeah, that's cool. Bubble Memory, Bubble Bubble Two. Yeah, it's Bubble Bubble Two and Three. Bubble yeah. Symphony. Mhm. Mm Diets Go Go. Um. Okay. Tumble Pop. Pang Pang. Jump Kid. Don Doku Don. The Berlin know. Wall. The Berlin Wall. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let that demo. I gotta see what the demo is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's. Burger time without the burgers. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh no, it's it's a uh, load runner. It's load runner. Yeah. It's fucking load runner. Yeah, because like load that. runner burger There's time a weird combo. Image in the background. Look at that. I know. Yeah, I, I know. Is that like a? It looks like a. It does look like a fucking. It was like a press shot from like a TV show. Yeah, it looks like a uh, a rabbi or something. Like I don't know why. I don't know either. The hair, I think. Somebody <laughs> drinking a beer at a party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, burger time. Look at that. <clears throat> Super burger time. Nice. I've actually never played that. I'll have to play that one later. So, okay, now we're getting into the actual original like American class. Bomb Jack Twin. Circus Charlie. Charlie. That game Big sucks. Brothers. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now. Puzzle Bobble T. Oh, there's Galaga. Yep, again. Moon Alien. Part two. Is it a Galaga clone? Yep. It's a Galaga yeah. clone. It's a Galaxian clone, actually. Galaxian clone, you're right. Uh, zero time, a Galaxian clone again. Yeah. Mm. Galaga 88. Galaga 88. <laughs> if you've never played Galaga 88, that is a fun version. This is my preferred version of Galaga. 
Galaga? I believe I have played that one, yes. Galaga 88? Yeah. The 88 one? Yeah. The end. Uh, okay. The There's... End. Wait, 99 The Last War? 99 The Last War... Whoa, it's like a... It's like a Galaga in like almost the third perspective? Oh, See how yeah. everything's kind of like 3D? That's kind of weird. Oh, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, oh, what was that old DOS game? Uh, Silphied. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Silphied. I had the Sega CD uh, version of Silphied. I loved it. It's basically, it's a rail, fan of that. basically a rail shooter, but uh, but I really really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, because it was like a weird perspective, like things like flew at you. Yeah, I don't like the yeah. perspective from, from the pers- from a back perspective. Well, Sil- yeah, the the rail shooter one I think was more uh, just kind of top Don't down call. or like um, vertical three. shooter. Don Kong Jr. Junior. Past Pac <clears throat> Man Part One apparently. Congo Bongo New Rally X. Kong Congo Bongo. Now this is a weird one because it's the colors are inverted. Oh oh yeah, it's just that brown like, with a green guy. Oh my god. Yeah, so I, I call this. Congo Bongo Night Edition. Bongo Congo. Bongo Bongo Congo. There you go. <laughs> Did they dig Rally Dug? Dig Dug too. I'm sold. I love Dig Dug. I bought a reproduction of Dig Dug because it wasn't ever released on the NES in the US. So I bought a really nice reproduction of it for the NES. Shallon Road. There's a box. He's like, there's center. like you need a trackball for that. Yeah. You can play without a trackball. It's just not fun. Yeah, so there's Dig Dug <laughs> and there's Dig Dug Two. Yep. Fuck Dig Dug Two. But Dig Dug One's the shit. Right. Galaga Three. <laughs> okay. A weird one. <laughs> Quicks. I don't think I've ever played Galaga Three. I hate Quicks. Not my style of game. Ladybug, Super Breakout. Ladybug, one of the better uh, Pac-Man clones, actually. Uh, Mappy, Mil- see, there's Millipede. I liked uh, for Pac-Man clones. I always liked Mousetrap. Junior Pac-Man. That. <laughs> Junior Pac-Man is a really hard game to get running in MAME. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. wonder how well it runs in this. Video Hustler. Oh, Juno first. That's another one with a with a Sylphide-like perspective. Xevious. Xevious. Yeah. Xevious. Yeah. Classic. That's on a lot of arcade compilations. Zevious. Mr. Deuce Castle. Yeah. Phoenix. Another Galaga clone. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Dew's Castle. I played the original one. Mr. Dew quite a bit. A little bit of missile time and added in. Condor, another Galaga clone. Hey, a frog got rip off. Yep. Lady Frog. frog. Super Pac Man. Super Pac Man. Original Mario. That is right there. Mario Brothers. My favorite arcade game. Mario Brothers? The actual arcade cabinet for Mario. Every time I went to, uh, to the uh, arcade. This is hilarious. In can, can you Portland, guess the title in the record? Play. Puck Man Pokemon. <laughs> it's literally Pac-Man and Pokemon. Crazy. Oh. See the see the Pikachu. See the Pikachu? <laughs> oh yeah. What the hell? Bootleg bullshit. And then uh, and original Pac-Man right there. Oh yeah. The legend. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's it called? Cross versus Iron Knights. Versus yeah versus they have a lot of the versus games on here. Popeye. Yes, Popeye. Ground Control. Ground Control Arcade. They have a Mario Brothers, original Mario Brothers cabinet, and they still only charge 25 cents, and it is just the best thing ever. <laughs> There's Pushman. Hey, that Pushman is similar to the uh, that, that game the I was warehouse. talking about. The yeah. warehouse game, yeah. Super I'll play Pushman. Or I Scramble. Love, I love those kind of like puzzle games. Van Van Car. Wait, wait, wait. Is it a what? van or a car? The hell? We may Play never the game. know. It's oh. like Duck, Duck Goose with a van van car. It's like a weird van, Pac-Man car. clone. Yeah, there's Pac-Man Plus. Puyan. I remember Puyan. Mm-hmm. A terrible Puyan. name. Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke. Yeah, Gunsmoke. Yeah, Gunsmoke. Incredibly hard game. Gunsmoke. Yeah. Yeah. Basically Fun as like... hell to play, though. If you... Yeah. It's like Commando, but with a West... in Western. Yeah. yeah. Space the original Space Invaders. Space Invaders DX. Yeah, that's that DX is the only one that actually works in MAME. Oh really? Yeah, I if think you just they... the original Space Invader ROM, it literally just loads like a bunch of data. Yeah, I think the original <laughs> the only real difference is the original was black and white. DX is the same but in color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All like six colors yeah, sure. or whatever. 
Ambush. Oh, I hate those perspective games. And you know what's funny about Bad. these? Mm -hmm. Ambush uses the same sprites um, for one of the Laserdisc games. I think it's... Oh. Um... Uh, which one is it? Um... Oh, wait a minute. Um, fuck, I know which one you're talking about. Uh, yeah. the, the space one with the, the live-action footage. Yep. Um, oh. God it's damn like it, why can't I remember? Astron Belt, that's what it Astron was. Astron Belt, yes. yeah. I, I was going to say, it's like yeah. Mach 3. Yeah. Mach 3 was like that, too. I loved Astron Belt. I used to play the shit out of that. I love the name on the list of this one. Ghost of Goblins. Ghost and Goblins. Ghost and Goblins. <laughs> Ghost and Goblins. All Kung, one word. Kung Fu Master. I used to play that a lot in the arcade, too. Solomon's Key. Also had the Apple IIc version of it. Or Volleyball. Superman. Superman. Oh, that's a good one. That's the beat em up. That actually looks yeah. looks like. Oh, Shazam! Yeah. That's right. I forgot. You get to do Captain Marvel with him. Moon Cresta, Crush Roller. Wait, War of Ooh. Arrow? Is that Arrow Fighters something? The original Frogger. The grouping of oh, the yeah, games okay. in this is very. I see what it is. Strange yeah. and haphazard. It is. Uh, it's not. Yeah, it's not alphabetized. It's no. actually categorized. Yeah. But I'm, it is I'm still kind action. of wondering what some of the categories are. It seems, and I think it goes by age. Okay. Like they start and with like board and stuff like that. So they, they start with similar games like, together. Uh, genre like it's fighters, and then it's shmups, mm -hmm. then it's fighting games. Yeah, and and in and those, then, it's like all the ones that are like using this board are grouped together, and all the ones yeah. using this board. So. Yeah, and then it kind of changes and goes by like brand. Then it goes by year. <laughs> really weird. I don't yeah. like it. I would probably, if I could reorganize it, I would. Yeah, that's what, what they're working on right now, is figuring out a way to reorganize it. The alphabetization feature, geez. It's not a fucking miracle. Amadar, there it is. Uh, Strong said was just asking about that one. Oh, Amadar? Right nice. Amadar, he said, does it have Amadar? That's one really weird game. That one's a really weird game. I haven't played it. Often. I don't know. Never heard of it. Check it out. I don't know. Load Runner, the Dig Fighter. Dig Fighter. Yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah. That's all the original little runners we passed them earlier. Yeah, I saw yeah, them yeah. earlier. Diamond Run. Oh, that's, um... Fuck, what's that? Oh, God. Dig, 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 uh, Boulder Dash? Boulder Dash, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Boulder Dash. Oh, yeah. Boulder Dash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... <laughs> yeah, I had a version of Boulder Dash, the Apple II, uh, as well. The Apple II C. Ooh, Shadow Warriors. This is that. That's a fun one. And Shadow Dancer. Shadow Dancer. I used to play that a lot. I love the magic moves and and the dog. Actual useful sidekick. <laughs> Bang. Who it is? Like the dog would attack the enemies. And I played this them. one earlier. So Hard but that. fun. Aqua Jack. It's kind of like, like Harry. uh, Space Harrier if you were in a hovercraft. It's literally Space Harrier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, league bowling, this is always fun. <laughs> I'm kind of hit and miss with those perspective games, but I did like Space Harrier quite a bit. I never liked the perspective games. No. It's never my thing. You ever wanted a gamble? I have a couple games. Stakes couple of Winner! Games. Those are Stakes fun winner. games. Stakes there Winner and Stakes Winner 2. Nice. Those are good games. Oh, yeah, this is the game I was in. My dad's like, Oh, my like, God. It's called Oh, My God. So, <laughs> play, oh. it's like a weird snake... Tetris clone. Weird. Um, but when you lose, like a a pre recorded like group of people come on and it goes, Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's interesting. My dad goes, wow. oh, why it's called Oh My God, and then I play it and I die and he goes, Oh, that's why it's called this. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Aquarium Aquarium. It's literally an aquarium. Oh. No, it's a puzzle game. No, never mind. Those are photo white two K versus Ocup octopus. It's a spot the difference. Oh, that's a weird game. Exciting. Yeah. Oh yeah, Knights of Valor. Oh. Yeah. And Knights of Valor two thousand seven. Oh. It's the same game. <laughs> it's the same, but it says two thousand seven plus. The, same game. It's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> there might be subtle changes, like there might be more uh, characters or more Oh, characters look at that! Play. It's so different. <laughs> uh, wow, there's a lot of Knights of Valors here. Whoa! <laughs> and so far, they're all the same. Superheroes. Ooh. Superheroes. Oh, there's go. Well, okay, that's a little different. Yeah, that one's different. Yeah, that one's different. 
I mean, Super I mean, Hero Knights of Valor is a fun Zero Z plus power fast. Nice. <laughs> Some of them they might have like the game runs faster or you're so getting your plus power faster. So they probably. kind of Street Fighter toot it. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. And what's funny is, like, there were actual arcade machines of these games. Yeah, I know. Like all these different iterations. Oh, I know. So, S plus. S plus. This whole page is Knights of Valor. I just noticed that. I yeah. see that. <laughs> well, I mean, I flipped over. I was like, good lord. YTZY2. Uh-huh. Yipsy. YTZY1. Yipsy. Who? Yeah. When Knights of Valor 2 plus nine dragons. Awesome. <laughs> Eight just Oriental Legend. Oh, that looks pretty awesome. How oh, the runs on the same oh, engine. Wow, that, that does look... It probably runs on the Knights of Valor engine. Mm. Yep. Because it looks very similar. Yeah. So I gather we're in the hack and slash section, which I love hack well, and slashes. So this engine, yeah. 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 Oh, there's a, a Demon Front. I've actually played this. This Demon is a uh, Metal Slug ripoff. Nice. But a very good one. Excellent. A lot of fun. Spectral versus <sighs> Generation. Hmm. Looks like huh. a... Wow. Ooh, that's, that's like a very well animated... That's really nice, yeah. Yeah. The, the Killing, Killing Blade, Blade Plus... Martial Masters. Well, these are fighting into never heard of. Yeah, these are like the uh, off the wall. Fighting sword. Games. This, is, this is a beat em up slash fighting game. It's crazy. Is that the last one? No. Yes. And then it loops back to one with look at all the King of Fighters. Holy moly. All right, we're not looking at the other 800. No, um, no, no. <laughs> we're right. just killing time while you were trying to pick a game, dude. Oh, that's sorry. Like, I got, yeah, I got, I got sucked into your browsing. <laughs> No. Oh. Um, <laughs> see now, game. now after watching that, I kind of want to see. Uh, I kind of want to play something with a little more action, a little more arcadey, maybe. <laughs> yeah. um, like a classic <laughs> game. Like a classic. Well, let me think. I've got. Uh, what have I got for action stuff? I've got. Uh, I got the three Alien Breed games, and I have a controller now too, so I can actually play games like that a little better. Uh, Yay! Uh, let's see. So I've got those. I've got the Atari Vault. At least some Atari games. Uh, Strong uh, uh Yeah, it does have Darkstalkers, but it's under their uh, Japanese title, which is uh, Night Night Stalker. Yeah, Night Stalker. Mm -hmm. uh, Same game. Um, they changed it because you know it's a fucking two different murders called Night Stalker yeah. serial killers. One of which has never been caught. Yeah. So there's Night Stalkers and Night Stalkers Two on here. Armored Warriors! Yes. Love Armored Warriors. And it's got its uh, beat em up sequel. Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, holy shit! Is that the beat em up one? Yes, it is. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Oh, dude. I Damn, know, so I, I want to. The next time we're in uh, the YTC chat and Mia's around, <laughs> boot this game up. <laughs> But, uh, so basically, Brandon is just like... I'm going to buy that thing. Shut up and take my money! <laughs> yeah, I need to get one of those. Yeah, I mean, if you have any kind of past history with arcade machines, according to arcades as a kid, you need to own this. This thing is fantastic. You know, it saved me a lot of work. Because you can get all these work on a MAME, but it's, like, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it, MAME does take a lot, especially with all the different... I'd rather just pay this guy... Whatever, and like just get the thing, and it works. You know? Yeah. Pay the guy and get the thing done. And it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. They're already all tuned up and ready to go. That's true. There's something to be said through that. Um. Bring someone else to do the work for me. There is a lot of. It's very American of me. Yeah, there it is. I saw a catalog. Oh, dude! Oh, my God! That is literally the best wrestling game that has ever been released in America from by Americans. There, there's a, there's a, more than one, uh, wrestling game on here. There's yeah, Saturday Night Slam matches probably also. Yeah, come on. yeah, there is. That is on here. Um, that was a fighting game though. A pit fighter. <laughs> uh, I know. Robo Rest was that. Ooh. I think I need some it? food actually. Oh, um, dude, look at that weird game. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tiny little human. <laughs> yeah, the giant robots wrestling, dude. 
<laughs> Mortal Kombat. That's awesome. Uh, I have Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. I, I, I find it kind of funny that it only has the first Mortal Kombat. Uh, I mean, apothe- I have, apothe- the Grain three. said, watching, listening to all this, and if you haven't read it, oh, wait a minute, if you haven't read Ready Player One, do so. Yeah. I'm laughing my butt off here, and if you haven't read it, you just don't know why. And I'm ready to I'm, mortgage I, one I of my kids for this Pandora box. <laughs> it's only like 250 bucks. It's not really... You have to mortgage one kid. Yeah. One kid. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh... You gotta do like a, maybe a leg and a kidney. <laughs> it's really affordable. Keep you the got kid. an extra one. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> or just a second mortgage. That should do it. Yeah. Third mortgage. This is a pretty amazing... Uh collection though, i gotta say and i love the fact that it's all basically just ready that game go. looks like shit holy shit there's a couple of there's two jackie chan fighting games that are like that and it's just absolutely god awful <sighs> hmm. yeah there they are there's jackie chan <laughs> ah! <laughs> and these, these these games terrifying. are just play it play it i'll play the second one because you can actually play as jackie chan in the second one 720p HD. Yep. Yeah, I'm not playing the sound right now because it goes beady beady bing 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 bing. I'm like using psychic waves every like, time you start a game. Incredibly annoying. To like get my yeah. girlfriend to make a note to buy this for me for my birthday. Uh-huh. So there we go. Jackie Chan. We can probably even guess what movie that's from. That's from Drunken Master, actually. <laughs> yep. I can play as a guy playing against a guy in a dragon suit. <laughs> Perfect. This game is so awful. <laughs> but it's live action. It's like they're really there. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, whoa. Wow, that's really terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad, but it's Jackie like... you feel embarrassed for that. I don't think he uh, was... Uh... Oh, it's unlicensed. Then. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? I don't, I don't know. know, but there's a huge fucking Michael Bay explosion happening, so I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Drunken Master. <laughs> oh, that's from Drunken Master 2, yeah. That's actually from Drunken Master 2, the sequel. Also, Legend of Drunken Master is what it's called here in the States. Why? It's actually the second movie. I'm, I'm liking that move. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that in the movie. Let's just let's just keep doing that. What funny. is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind what of unfair because he had doing? no use of his arms because he was holding up the dragon costume the whole time. <laughs> Stage two, ready. Fight. Facing Bolo Young ripoff. <laughs> uh-huh. Watching it at like one frame a second is pretty interesting. It's just like a it freeze is. frame of characters oh, trust me. randomly <laughs> flying through this. <laughs> I know. There's no Random. context. Just right. something he's upside down, and then he's standing, and then he's upside down again. <laughs> oh, a pot and of he's popping weirdly to the air. Says, "Did you figure thrashed fingers? Did you figure out you're in a whale yet?" <laughs> oh, I guess he said whispers to self. Good thing I'm a leg and kidney doctor. Yes, that's a yeah. great thrash player. Fuck, I don't know what to play. I'm, I'm right into that old problem of being overwhelmed by my own this collection. Why I have a, that's why I have a dice. I just choose a bunch of random ones and then just roll a dice and the fate shows. Okay. Well, hold on. Random.org. Gonna... Random. 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 Here we go. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug a bunch into random.org. Just choose three different ones and then just... <laughs> the third watch. choice. Bam. That's the one you're playing no matter what. The third choice, eh? Well, I, okay. I love when he's like, he gets the third choice. One, two. Oh, I don't want to play that. <laughs> nope, you have to. That's the rule. Okay. If you know once you play it, you'll be fine. Hold on, I gotta You're find your brain by forcing yourself to play it. Uh. It's hard sometimes. I know. Damn it! Which they've got so many things on random.org now. I gotta. Which one do I want? List. Random list. List. List randomizer. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you, and then you enter a list of things. And then, and then whatever the one is at the top, this, that's the... Okay. This game is so third. bad, I'm actually Random. not even looking at the screen. I'm looking at the one frame a second preview window. <laughs> I'm still, you know, doing okay. <laughs> not to lose, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go through yeah, this and I'm going to... Put a few on there. He doesn't die. He he actually stands back up and thumbs up the other person. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So yeah, uh, such a terrible looking game. 
I know, it's just... Wait, wait, is that Shogun Warriors related to the anime? Or is it just... A... No. It's just, it's just Shogun Warriors. No, darn. I'm like, that'd be so cool if there was a Shogun Warriors fighting game. That was a great show. That was actually called um, I was curious about this Samurai one. Troopers, actually. Take it back. This is just straight up. This is oh, that show. See, Super whenever you say Shogun Warriors, I think of the Shogun Warriors, which was the giant robots from oh, the early 80s. Oh, something else. You oh, old wow. fuck. Jesus. Yeah. That's the late 70s. That was, uh, yeah, it was like the super robot stuff. Yeah, and Mazinga and, uh, yeah, and there's and a Grand Gold Gun or whatever. Grand Grandizer, Guy Grand King. Um, and then they had uh, the Godzilla. Space Space Guteers, which is the translated version of Starzinger, which oddly they was also not got to the shooting fist. Which and Starzinger oddly was not giant robots. It was uh, based on the Monkey Magic um, storyline, like the Journey to the West or Odyssey to the West. For some so, reason, I think there was a Rodan figure too in that Shogun Shogun Warriors line. Rodan. There was Raiden. Is that the one you're thinking of? No, no, no. There I was... remember there being two Godzilla Hold on. Like... There was a Godzilla one. I don't think there was a Rodan though. No, I thought there was two Godzilla characters though. Anyway, um, no. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look this up. I'm. I'm curious. Shogun they, Mar Marvel did the comics around the same time. Both Shogun Warriors and Godzilla came out basically at the same time. They didn't cross over in the comics though. Oddly. I mean, I had a few of the smaller toys in that line. I've got some of the small. I've got a bunch of the small ones, and I have one of the big ones. I got the Great Mazinga. I don't have any of them anymore. I'd love to get them. Oh, uh, I love that. That was my. That was basically my introduction to anime. Was uh, Force Five, which is the translated Beautiful. version of a bunch of those. It's just Godzilla. Who am I thinking? I don't know why I'm thinking that. Hmm. Smart, street smart. Someone stood next to a Rancor figure. That's cool. <laughs> Here it is. It's Guy King, Raiding, Mazinga, Deimos, and uh, Godzilla. Yeah, that's Deimos, cool. that's the one. I used to have. A, I used to have a little Deimos figure, and it was not official. It was totally a bootleg. Totally. No, it was totally a bootleg, and I had. I had an official Mazinga though. Okay, hold on. He was missing his left arm. I remember that very distinctly. I had lost it at some point. It's got the Simpsons. Was it oh, about yeah, Tattoo was... Assassins? Do they have the X-Men one game? Yes, it does. Good. I have that on my PS3, but still. Dynasty Wars. It's got Willow. <laughs> oh, that game's cool, dude. It is fun, but it's just funny that it really has. Really cool. Mega Twins. Uh, yeah, I got your last message. I don't think it has Tattoo Assassins. I've played Guardians before. This is a weird beat em up Legend of Silk Road. There's Golden Axe. Missing in action. Missing in action too. Still missing. <laughs> missing more. In action. Super Trio. Wow, that's totally not Mickey Mouse. Nope. Missing, missing in action three. E SWAT. I love E SWAT. There's Fucking Golden Ghosts. Awesome. Strider. Ghosts. Strider. That's a good one too. Battles. Oh, I love Battles. Strider. Battle Never heard of it. It's a beat em up with a move upgrade system. I like those D&D beat em ups though. Those are good games. Oh yeah, it's got Tower of Doom and the Shadows of Mistara. Yeah, Shadows of Mistara is the shit, dude. Yeah, I see. I have a lot of these like Armored Warrior, Alien vs. Predator, all the, the AVP main I've played also. Yeah. Um, I have these on my main, my big arcade machine. See, I was gonna do the same thing you were gonna do. I was already like looking into like using my Ouya as just like a base unit to start with, but now see this like fuck it, I'm just gonna get this thing. Yeah, might as well. Ooh. Ouya's not a very Ouya. good platform for it anyway. It's good for the uh, consoles, though, for sure. Yeah, it's not supported anymore, though. Like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking put Linux on it, dude. I was thinking, like, have you picked the game yet? I'm making a list, and then I'm gonna I'm not... hit random. Oh, I'm gonna play the Sailor Moon game. He's checking it twice. He's making sure that find out who's naughty and nice. Should I put an RPG on there? I should probably put an RPG on there. Yeah, might as well. Cool. Sure. So I've got a few that I haven't played, or I've only played a little bit Notice. of, like. Like, I've got Kingdoms of oh. Amalur with all the DLC. I've got <laughs> these. Eric, you're not in the right region. I've got no. the uh, Skyrim Special Edition, which I've never played. I've got Dragon Age Origins, and I've got Fallout 4. Do you have, like, any classic RPGs instead? I don't have any, like, old, old ones, no. I've got, I mean, I've got some classic point-and-click stuff. Like I would say Fallout 4 would be the one you should put on that list, for fuck's sakes. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. I did play 
and enjoy Fallout 3. Quite I a bit, know. So. And Fallout 4 is even better. Right. Fuck the list. Just play Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah, actually. Fuck <laughs> just, the list. Play, play Fallout 4. Play Fallout 4 for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. yeah. You're um, going to love it. You're going to get sucked into it, dude. I know. I'm sure I will. All right, I've added it to the list. Oh, I can fuck, fuck I can the list. Like, fuck the list. <laughs> I can literally like, pimp slap people. Have my Taylor list. Taylor Marks is best. We all know that. Whoa. What am I doing? I'm doing it. Oh, God. You do <laughs> magic, bro. Find me evil by moonlight, dude. Get it right. We are gonna pimp slap you. Whoosh, 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 this whoosh. reminds me of the uh, Power Rangers Genesis games. Yep, same same people. They right? would. It it would. Are the Power Rangers games on there? Those were arcade too. No, I didn't see any. Oh, bummer. For I you. List do Fallout Four, but then I realized he doesn't have that on his hard drive yet, and that's like a. 40, 50 gig game. Yeah, but oh, also have, I also have blazingly fast internet. It won't take that long to install. Um, Trust me, I've installed it before. Twice. On okay. other hard drives that then nope. died from the strain nope. of installing it. <laughs> nope. Obviously, yeah, maybe that, it's cursed. That one won't be going on my SSD if that's yeah, the one that gets deal. picked. I don't have the space for it. But, uh... Well, that takes away some of the speed, then, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> hey, I have the original Quake. Awesome. Quake is a good one you can just pick up and play. Anyway, yeah, I'm is. gonna get dumped, and then I'm gonna go call my girlfriend. I'll be watching the live stream. Awesome. Okay. We'll see you Thank there. You. Peace. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a glorious dump. <laughs> uh, How many do you have in your list? Like three. Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> oh no, I, ha I have five. Okay, let me see if I can uh, show you guys the list here. Just hold on. Hold on. It's like it's been... Ten minutes, and you picked five games you to need put on to, your list. You need to see the list here. I'm so disappointed right now. <laughs> what did you expect? Like fifty? You have a bunch of games. Just start putting them on the freaking list. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want it. Fuck! It won't. Why does screen capture not function? <laughs> like. All right. Well. Here, what we'll do is this. Because it hates you. Apparently. Because you touch yourself at night. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Okay. We'll do this the, the sort of old-fashioned way here. Here's the list. I have five games on it. I'm just going to adjust the focus slightly. Give me the damn controls. <laughs> Where you gave me the controls for a second. Oh, you stupid program. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Focus. Where are you? There. Is a good choice. What the hell? Why did it just completely fuck up when I adjusted the focus? Ooh. There. Because okay. Focus. All right. So we got Alien Breed Impact, Conan Exiles, Darksiders, Layers of Fear, and Fallout Four. All of which are ones that, well, most of which, well, a couple of which are ones that you guys have requested many times before. So here we go. Hitting randomize. Here we go. What? Stop doing that. Boom. He's down. All right. Waiting for it, waiting for it. So here's the first, since I've said to do it three times. Okay, so that's the first. Again, again. Here we go. Oh, Fallout 4. That's the second time, though. We do it one more time. Here we go. And... So it'll be the number one. The number one is the one we're going to play. Here we go. And about to press the button. 
here we go. Hey, check it out. <laughs> what? What? What is it? Oh, is look it? at that. Oh, my God. What is it? My old friend. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, great. <laughs> Curlatin says Darksiders are riot. You're so. Right. I can tell I you're. So, cool dark yeah. You're so enthused, Stoud. <laughs> oh, yeah, Conan. <laughs> Out, I think I found my new profile picture. Well, I guess I gotta reinstall Conan. <laughs> Hold on. I would okay. be okay with that as your profile picture. Yes. With Conan as my profile. I, I have picture. a I have an emote that's kind of like that I want to share with you. Uh there we go. I put it in the Twitch <laughs> chat. <laughs> this guy's face is it's gloriously weird. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh yeah. <laughs> It's funny, actually, looking at it from a distance, it looks more derpy than when you look closer. I know, yeah, I, I was watching a video earlier, and this is where I got the picture from. I was looking at the titles, all the next videos, and just this guy's face showed up. Oh my god, okay, look at this. Disk space required, 44,915. Disk space available, 44,701. <laughs> so I literally... I'm literally 214 megabytes short on my SSD drive, so we'll just... Uh, uh, Darksiders it is. We'll put it on another drive here. <laughs> oh, create new Steam oh, library on E. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but why? He makes... Uh -oh. Where am I go What am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm confused. Why is SNI still going? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, how's it going, everybody? Are you enjoying the insanity? <laughs> oh my goodness. Shit, I can't really put it on that drive because that's also the drive that we're recording to. We can't really have them both running simultaneously. So, uh, how much space have I got on this one? I got a lot on this one. I have 70 gigs on that one. I think we're going to shift some things over at some point in the near future. Or not. Let's see if we move how about all of this. How much does all of this take up? All of this takes up... Holy crap. 208 gigabytes. All right. Well, we can move all of that over later. Uh, for now... Oh... Oh, yeah, now that's where all the other things are installed. Okay, yeah, sure, we'll drop it in there. So that's K drive. Okay, K drive, do your thing. 44 gigabytes. All right. Uh. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes. I don't know. It's Five hours later. <laughs> it says that I've played 33 hours of Conan Exiles. That's impressive. Yeah. <sighs> You're great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least we know how to get out of the desert. I don't think it's a bad game. I like the game. <laughs> I kind of want the game. Yes. But it's like, you just said it yourself. You've played 33 hours of it. I have. It might be nice to see a new game. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, it's like visiting an old friend, you know? Um, it's like, hey, world of Conan... Good to see you again. Pull up a chair. Have a beer. Tell me about your day. <laughs> I will enjoy watching you get eaten. <laughs> well, because how long has it been since I played? Um, where I'm pretty sure they've wiped the servers again. And I will have to start over again. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 I'm so excited. Nature Matoko says StairQuest 3.0. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's so excited. I'm glad. 
And I just can't <laughs> hide it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Where's that? I forgot what show or movie or whatever it's from, and it's they're singing. I'm so excited, and they're just like bawling their eyes out the whole time they're singing it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know. One <laughs> percent. That sounds like perhaps a really weird dream you had. <laughs> It's at one percent, everybody. Oh. oh God! It's the from Saved by the Bell. It's the pill freakout scene. Oh, oh, that's what you're thinking. Of. Yeah. Okay, that explains so why I didn't remember it. Scared. I hate that show. She's like, she's like, she's like, I'm so excited. I just can't hide. She just starts bawling. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <sighs> oh my. Okay, here we go. It's starting to move now. <laughs> that needs to be our reaction to this. Okay, it says it's going to be about 30 minutes. 30 whole minutes, wow. Yeah. No, 38. So fast. Here, here we go, Stout. This is, my, this is my reaction right now. Why did it say it needed 40 some odd gigs but now it's downloading it says it only needs 22 like well what the hell <laughs> particularly adding in the whole thing where he's like pills why are you taking pills <laughs> <coughs> I need them I need them if we're going to be watching Conan <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You know how I search and found that? I put, I'm so excited crying. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like the big featured video. So, the best part about that, that freak out that she has, and the reason it's become like such a pop icon thing, the pills she's taking are caffeine pills. Uh, it's, it's not like she's taking some kind of like hard drug or something. Oh. Or some shit. It's, it's caffeine. Yeah, yeah, she's taking a slightly the higher version of a sugar pill. Excellent. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I think I'll end Saturday Night Insanity. And uh, I'll see you all back here in half an hour or so for some Conan. Yeah! Yay, <laughs> hey, you said whatever it lands on, I gotta stick with, so I'm, uh -huh. I'm following your rules here. My rules suck. <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone's curious, I just decided Why to... Why are you listening to me? I hit the randomizer four more times, and three of those four more times it landed on Darksiders, so... Ah, are you you're just rubbing it in now, yeah. like... It's kind of it funny. It could have been Darksiders. It could have been Darksiders. So that means like five of the seven times it landed on Darksiders <laughs> or four or something like that. Like You're more a bad than half. person. You know? funny. <laughs> That's okay, though. So I've been seeing what some of my other uh, friends have been doing in Conan, and they've been building like these just amazing sprawling houses and stuff. And I'm like, wow, my perfectly square shack on the beach just doesn't quite look <laughs> just imagine someone who built like a freaking who literally just took like a box off the street and called it home and they put this freaking mansion next to him and the guy's like hey how's it going that's pretty much it <laughs> he's like what what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's me. I'm the, I'm the guy in the box. And my other friends are the guy in the mansion <laughs> saying, Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid.
stupid sexy Flanders. War of Disease brings up a good point. Wasn't this it a two story mansion shack? That that is true. It was. <laughs> And it was almost spider and alligator proof. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. So, do you remember when I... Spider I went, and alligator proof asterisk. I went to, like, the door <laughs> of my house, and there was literally, like, a giant spider sitting right there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> Get out of my house! <laughs> Uh, I wonder what god he will choose to support this time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I could... I don't know. Apparently, Krom is the useless one. Krom doesn't do anything for you. Krom is like the agnostic god. Which so... is stupid, given that, you know, <laughs> such an important character. So right? the other ones are the ones that ultimately you can summon uh, them. Like, uh, Mitra, Mitras or Mitra, Mitra was the one that I did, which is, uh, if you summon Mitra, I think he's like a giant statue. Uh, there's also Set, which of course is a giant snake. And then I think there's another one, I can't remember. Yogg or something. There's one that's like a, like, evil one that's all about cannibalism and stuff. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Krom is a cuck, says Krilatin. <laughs> yep. They're all yep. Star staring at the floor now. All right. I'll see you in a little while, folks. I'm going to go get some food, and then uh, then we'll do some, uh, some Conan. Conan. Some Conan. All right. Later. Penis. Eh.